We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord.
that spirit of uh, prayer. Let's go before God and ask him for prote uh, protection. Our own personal protection. Every church member's protection. Our families. Everywhere we go in our workplaces, places of residence. God must protect us. The devil is attacking us because we don't pray for ourselves enough. Let's ask him for protection. He made us for a reason. So we are here to be protected by him. Protection from disease. Protection from robots. Protect us. Protection us Come on, raise your voice, raise your voice, raise your voice, raise your voice, Children be protected. When you travel, you be protected. Protection, protection, oh God. Protect our parents. Protect our friends. Come on, somebody, push, 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 push. Oh, Satya, be so May your family be protected. May your children be protected. Pray for your protection. When you travel, may you be protected. Angels of protection accompany you. May the angels of protection walk with you. May goodness and mercy follow you all the days of your life. May you be protected. May you be protected. Come on, pray. Protect us, Almighty Jesus. Come on, pray. You are about to break through. Come on, pray. Solve 
Christ, hallelujah. Amen. Can you just high five your neighbor and tell your neighbor that you are blessed because you are seated right next yeah. to me? Bless your neighbor, bless your neighbor, bless your neighbor, bless your neighbor, bless your neighbor. Bless your neighbor. Ah. And if they are not receiving, remember to tell you, yes. and just now uh -huh. I'm giving you the chance to uh -huh. be a prophet. Uh -huh. If they are not receiving the, oh, that yes. prophecy, take back your prophecy. Amen. Take back your prophecy. If they are not saying I receive, take back your prophecy. <laughs> if they are not claiming that prophetic power of a blessing, take it back to with you. Hallelujah. We love you. Hallelujah. You are most welcome in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. But I don't see your teeth. Hey. Mind you can see them. Hey. Yes. Why are you not smiling? Yes. That's the spirit. And you are coughing. Don't worry. Everyone is coughing. Hallelujah. Amen. It will go. It will go. Hallelujah. So this is GM International Ministries. Hallelujah. It means Jesus in action movement. Hallelujah. And who knows that he's really in action? Raise up your hand if you know that. In this house, he's you know it, hey? You have encountered it, hey? Clap hands for Jesus. Ha! Hallelujah, we've got over 15 branches, hallelujah, and you are still growing worldwide, hallelujah. Everywhere we are, hallelujah. Europe, we are and we entered, we are there. GM is there, hallelujah. So my name is Mama Rode. Uh, my name is Mama Rode. Yes, and I'm I'm co-presenting with my partner here, Pastor. Pastor Ed. Pastor Ed. From which city? From Pretoria. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So I want you to encourage you that you have come to the right place. I want you to connect. That's why we say intercession because we are preparing that when the man of God comes, God has already done with us. Hallelujah. You just come to seal. Hallelujah. As we enter the program, we're starting with two worship songs and two praise songs from the rich army. You're looking dope. Yes, I can see that. Amen. 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 Let us stand 
come and worship the Lord. Amen. The Lord has keep you from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, up to today. Amen. I want you to say something good to your father. Amen.
you not get your testimony? Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. 
We've got ministers, hallelujah, and mentees that are working with him, hallelujah, yes. for the work of the Lord to go forward. Yes. I've never seen an apostle who's not jealous, you know, the way he grooms us. He even says, maybe one day you'll be better than me. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, never yeah, seen yeah, such. Oh, you see that. Because out there, they will only want to be the big ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they must have the case and a pass. Okay. To suppress your, your calling. Your calling. That's but our, our apostle. But our father. Ha! Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, I would like to introduce you to our pastors. Hallelujah. As I shout their name, because I'm going to shout, because I love them. Because they are our elders, they are our pastors. You also shout. I want to hear your voices over mine. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to introduce our elders in the house. Hallelujah. Amen. The ones that God blessed us with. Hallelujah. We run there when you want to cry. Hallelujah. And they embrace us. Hallelujah. Ma Pastor Shumba and Mama Shumba, as they are standing up, I want you to say, Glory to Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> very honored to have them in our midst. Hallelujah. Yes. Just seeing them sitting there. You know that your life is good. Amen. Moving right along, we want to introduce Pastor Shepard and Mama Shepard. Hallelujah. Yes. If they are standing up, I want you to give glory to Jesus. Come on somebody, if you love your pastors, put them shout hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. We have Pastor Michael and Pastor Memory. These are our residential pastors, hallelujah, from Pretoria, hallelujah. Our mom, Pastor Memory, our father right there behind at the media is raising up his hand. Father, hello. we love you. Amen. And this is my pastor as well. But I call her aunt because she's coming there from my, from my husband's village. Hallelujah. I want to introduce to you my pastor, my auntie, my slaying aunt, hallelujah. Pastor Elizabeth, as she is standing up, I want you to give glory to Jesus. Ah, give glory unto Jesus. Amen. We love God. We are vibrant like that. We are happy like that. Amen. Amen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, at this particular juncture, let me introduce someone. Ah. You know, we are from different generations. Yes. But he's like my friend. He's your friend. I call him my old man. Your old man. Because he is the older version of me. Oh, wow. And sometimes when I look up to him, I say, man, yeah. when I grow up, yeah. I just want to be you. Ah, Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. If you love Pastor Rodney, shout, Jesus. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but there's one thing that is missing. Man of God, there's one thing that is missing. Uh, there's one thing that is missing. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> By the way, we... Okay. Uh, you know what? I can't hide it. You say it is our Elijah. So when you see him, just know that he is the Elijah of, of this season. Bow and your prophets who are in trouble. Because Amen. we've got the Elijah of our seasons. Amen. We love you, Father. Hallelujah. Maybe Amen. people you didn't know. Uh huh. Pastor Rod is happily married. Oh, yes, he is. Ah. Ah. You know what? He was somewhere. He was busy. Yes. Then the Lord said, No, it is not good for this man to be alone. To be alone, yes. Of course. It is not good. Of course. Then the Lord caused him to fall into a deep sleep. Ah! And who did ah. he creates? And behold! Ah! What and happened? Behold, and behold! This is the rib ah. of the rib. Ah. The bone <laughs> of the bones. Yes. And the flesh of the flesh. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mama Ron is standing here. Hallelujah! <laughs> in here. Hallelujah! Amen! Then I have this man of God. He's always there by the back. Quiet, reserved, yes. but he's Manyama. Hallelujah! Yes. I want to introduce Pastor Bishop Tobias Manyama. He's at the back! Hallelujah! Ah. Pastor Tobias, we have a problem here. Because all the time 
when we introduce you, you are standing at the back. May you kindly run. Two seconds. Run. So they know you. Ah! Toby! Toby! Amen. You 
see, you see, you need to tap from yes. this grace. In uh -huh. When a woman is raising such a great man of God, yeah. we are talking about an international man of God. Yeah. Amen. International. You know what, Mama? Yes. One day, Apostle was here. It's like he was breaking. No, but it's true. He wasn't breaking. He said, Paul, you can stand here. Simon Peter can stand yeah, here. Yeah, uh, and Paul will say, I wrote uh, two thirds of the New Testament. Yeah. And Simon Peter will say, Only by my shadow people were healed. And but then, my apostle, my father said, uh, Amen. <laughs> How about barrenness? Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Amen. Ah. So when we are talking about the fruit of the womb, Oh. When we are talking about the fruitfulness in our business, he is the general. When we are talking about fruitfulness in our marriage, he is the general. You must not leave this woman out of this Amen. box. Amen. Amen. Um, we appreciate it so there's much. one also man of God. You see, I was looking around. Yeah. But one thing that I've noticed mm -hmm. that is somewhere up there. Yes. Is somewhere up there. He is. Is and we can somewhere feel, up there. We can feel him in here. He is somewhere up there. Aha! It's something bad. Yeah. But it's something good. Ah. You see, those sons of the angels, mm. do you know them? According to Genesis chapter number six, they were these great men who were called giants. Amen. Yeah. But here we've got our own giant. He is a spiritual giant. Ah. Someone who never gives up when he's fighting against demons. Ah. Someone who never gives up when he's praying. Ladies and gentlemen, we call him the Mr. Money Man because he is our ATM. Ah. Pastor ATM, ah. we love you. <laughs> oh. hey. This is the Money Man. If you need money, Pastor, you know how, why I forgot to the when we come here to sleep and to for classes, you're wearing your Crocs, your T-shirt, and your, you know, I can't recognize him. Yeah, I can't at all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but we love you, men of God. We love you so much. We hallelujah. You, and, uh, and there's, um, we've got ministers as well, our leaders, hallelujah. Yes. The leader for intercession, hallelujah, Sister Lindiwe. She is my leader. And I respect her. On the intercession group, I said, thank you so much, my leader. Okay. At your age, okay. in my age, she's my leader. Protocol. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you, Sister Millie. Hallelujah. The leader of the rich army. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. We love you. Hallelujah. Mama Manzini is standing up. She's the leader of the welfare of the church. Hallelujah. And the widows. Amen. Amen. Ha, hallelujah. And for the singles. Here when you're saying singles, it's just a process whereby you pass through and you get a marriage. You don't remain there forever. So that is the place of being groomed hallelujah sister jesse and sister Teresa, they are standing up they are leaders of the wind of the singles department amen hallelujah we also have our kids hallelujah yes at the back there they are being taught about the word of god hallelujah yes. sister ria is the leader i don't know if she's here today hallelujah but we acknowledge her hallelujah amen. in her absentia clappings for her Amen. Hallelujah. And the leader for the media, Pastor Teach, we love you. This is the Can you just give us some rhythm? Give us some rhythm. Hallelujah. Okay. Are there still for, more departments, woman of God? 
No, the person. There's a twist to departments today. Okay. I was just acknowledging the leaders. Yes. Yes. The the departments who is going to come. Yes. Um, Someone who is playing at the background there. The media. You see, for us at the overflow, I don't know if we've got people in the overflow. Yes. We've got people in the overflow, right? Can you see us? For you to get connected to us, there is a man who's playing behind. Uh, there is a man who's operating the machines behind. Amen. Uh-huh. Pastor Isu. Oh, and I even forgot you. Pastor Isu. You see, even those who Where are you connected at? online. Pastor T, Pastor Ish. We love you, men of God. We can't see you. Can you move No, on we can't call him to come here because he's busy. No, he... Really? Can you can we see you up there? Yes, oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So this is the man. Uh, those who are watching uh, online, this is the man who is doing everything. I don't he's know if what to charge. say is magic or is the anointing <laughs> or the whatever, but he is the one behind the whatever that yes. was watching. We, Amen. We thank you, Pastor Ish. Yes. And the family. Amen. The yes. media family. And we've got the these are my children. Family. Amen. Asher department. The departments are coming. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. We want to thank you all for coming. The new visitors. Hallelujah. I would kindly ask everyone who's here for the very, very first time. I'm kindly asking with my heart to stand up so that we can see you and we love you. The GMOA. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anyone for the first time? Kindly asking you to stand up in the presence of the Lord. Clap hands and ha, be happy. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Anyone else for the first time? Anyone else for the first time? Yeah, overflow, are you there? Can we see you overflow? Do you have new, 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 new people from the overflow? Okay, so this is how we're going to do it. My name is Mamrod, coming from Jobbik South. I was invited by Sister Miriam. Hallelujah. This is how we're just going to say it. Amen. As we move. Invited. Uh, I invited by another lady called Nyasha. Ooh, clap hands for Nyasha. We love you, Sister Antonate. Okay, she's, she's my daughter. Oh, you are most welcome. Thank you. Hallelujah. Clap hands for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Man. Hallelujah. Man. It's nice to be here. Wow. It's nice. Here. Amen. Amen. I'm Mrs. Mupumbi. Hey. I stay in Delta Port. Okay. Um, I'm here yes. because I just I met so. Pastor Diam through social media, so I was influenced to come to church. Ah, oh, yeah. wow. You are most welcome. Feel comfortable. Amen. Amen. Naitwa Mama Shumba. Tunotenda mwari kuvande bipano. Amen. Tunogara kula nifondeini. Ndeni vaitwa na Yuda. Ah. Thank you so much Mama Shumba. And thank you Hilda. You are welcome Mama Shumba. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, my name is Mr. Aim Paso. Mm. I stay in Pretoria East. Okay. Mafias. I've invited my daughter Constance. Wow, clap hands for Baba. Thank you so much. Amen. 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 We need to meet for my sister's day. We do not back up. My Lord, that is my Twaona, my team. Ah, clap hands for the glory of God. You are welcome.
Amen. We thank you, Mami. You're welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, my name is Abigail. Hey, Abigail Maanda. I'm invited by my cousin. So, who is pastor in this church in social media? Okay. You're welcome. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 My name is Fungai Maanda. Mm. I stand for Elizabeth. So, uh, I follow this uh, church through social media mm. on Facebook. So, Amen. I just am uh, sort of coming here for Amen. this Sunday. Amen. Yes. Keep following. Keep following. Hallelujah. And invite your friends to follow as well. You're welcome. Wait, give us a little bit so that we celebrate them. As we go to the other. Ah. Are you not happy to have people in the house? I'm dancing for you, hey? Amen. Amen. Yes. You're welcome, mommy. Amen. Amen. My name is Peter Majo. Uh, I'm a father of three children. Wow. And one wife. Uh, <laughs> one wife. <laughs> ah. He's so specific because you thought maybe three children. <laughs> children with three wives. Thank you for specifying. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was invited by Innocent, brother Innocent is here with me for the first time also. Yeah, it's the second time for her, but uh, we are coming all, all the way from Johannesburg. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. My Avril. Ndaka sangana na prophet ba uya kuzona matiro mwe mwana wavo kuti mugara ku Oliven. Machipo handina matiro na ndina siswa ngo ngari mu ICU. Mangana shivaka kuva muka vatu kusoro kwa muwadi vakati kuda mushipandira sana ngo tsaida zvega ningotera.
Daktari Romandisekwa all mm. the way from Zimbabwe. Yes. Uh, I came here with my mom, Juliana. She's the one who invited me, but wow. I always follow Apostle Sean on social media. Thank you so much. Salutes. I can see you, you are catching on the vibe. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Oh. apostle was teaching us yesterday he said people will follow you because of your fruits she followed because the sister was prayed for he was having problem of teeth and got healed and then today said let me go hmm? Hallelujah. amen Hallelujah. amen Wow. Amen. It is. I 
Hallelujah. Just believe and follow Apostle Sean. Amen. In internet, I may cook a question. I'm going to go to Victoria West. Yeah. I'm going to go to Facebook because I'm going to go to the Apostle for Facebook. So, I'm going to go to the show. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 came to thank God for the baby that he gave me. <laughs> so, I just want to say God. Satan Pacho Tishunguru Zaha Satan Pacho Tenderu Abu Tishunguru Father, amen. Yes, Lord. We respect the anointing. Hallelujah. Amen. For those who just say Apostle Sean and don't know him, he is our general. Hallelujah. Amen. He's our father. Amen. Moving right along. Amen. We are moving to departments. So the moment I call you, I introduce you, you come here and you present your item. Hallelujah. Yes. So this is how it's going to happen. I'm going to start with the security manyama. <laughs> These ones will tell you that Jesus is in the heart. Yes. Not in the, the hands. So if you are right there and they are, you know what, they are wearing in from but there are other ones. Yes. That are 
sword inside of you there. Yes. So just try and let them make you an example that Jesus is in the heart and not in the... Amen. So I'm going to call upon the security, hallelujah, as they are coming, hallelujah, to present their item, you will see them, amen. Security, my Come on, if you love them, shout Jesus. Come on, if you love them, you can clap your hands as they are coming. Come on, you can love them, you can love them, you can love them. Ah, come on, somebody, come on, somebody. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no.
But you know what? Ah. You are best at your job. Yeah. And I think from now on, you are going to be the present worship team. Oh. Amen. Amen. Thank yes. you so much, our security. We are safe with you. We are safe around you. We are safe because of you. Amen. We love you. Hallelujah. Our next item ah. is coming from the rich army. Ah, come on, somebody.
from the barrack. Ah. You can hear the sound of the army. Amen. The sound with command. Yes. The sound with power and an explosive sound. Amen. Amen. And we're moving on to Now we are moving on to our rich escort. escort. Come on, you can love them. You can love them. I know you are not jealous. I know you are not jealous. You can love them. We love you, Rich Escorts. <laughs> Introduce and welcome uh -huh. the single, single parents. parents. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, come on, you can love them. You can love them. You can love them.
everything come in front. Hallelujah. This is not a dating site. Single Parents is a group under the mentorship of Apostle Sean. We are honored as GM Ministry children that single parents we are given a platform that Apostle is teaching us to be the mother in the mothers to our children, to be the heroes to our children. Hallelujah. To be the, the mother in laws, which are good which are favorable, which are honored with the dignity. Hallelujah! 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 Amen! Mururu! Mururu! Mururu!
are not good at singing, you are good at acting, right? As well. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Multi talented. Uh, our next item uh -huh. is coming from. Uh -huh. I don't know. Inter. International intercession inter or intercessors inter for the international Those who world. Those pray a lot midnight. Yes. We just want to hear your voice because we know you are prayer warriors. So we want to hear you on the singing side of things. We welcome intercessors. Come on, in welcome home. intercessors. Similapa.
You know what, Mama? There's this song uh, in Zimbabwe. Yes. They say Fadza Mutengi. Yeah, Fadza you must, Mutengi. Yes, you must please the one who's buying you beer, something like that. <laughs> you know what? Because these are the ones who are importing the Holy Spirit into this place. Oh, wow. With the way that you've just done. Ah, come on, somebody. Ay, 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 pastors. Come on, somebody. Uh, yes. We thought theirs was just prayer, but mm, we saw a different side altogether. And today, yes. I've got the privilege okay. to see yes. another version of Dolly Patton. I've heard it in this house. Yeah. <laughs> in this house. Uh, Dolly Patton. Mm. And I was like, wow. Wow, the voice. Our next item. Yes. Let me introduce to you. Uh -huh. Couples. The couples are coming. Come on, you can love the Lord. You can love the Lord. Ah, you are not jealous of them, I know. Tarira uone kuita kwa Tarira Also, yes. <laughs> the list is long. There is one instrumentalist who is seated somewhere there. Pastor Rod, come on. <laughs> ah, Pastor Rod, come oh, on. Come on, Peterist. 
our pitoris. Sia kutu misa. Sia kutu misa. Sia kutu misa. Gosia ma. Gosia. Sia kutu. or something, right? Mm, Blink Mambazo are too uh, old-fashioned. I mean the boys to men. Oh, these are the boys to men. Uh-huh, not Blink so Mambazo. So, these are the boys to men. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I understand. I get you. I Hallelujah. Get you. Okay. The media is coming. Oh, okay. The Sunday school is coming as the media is preparing. Hallelujah. All I right. don't know if the media is able since they are on duty, but they will. They'll yes. make a way. Come on, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Sunday school you is coming. Sunday school. Clap hands for our children. Hallelujah. <laughs> Clap hands for our children. Give them motivation. Amen. I got joy, peace, and happiness in my soul. I got joy, peace, and happiness in my soul. Oh, 
church, my name is Tyler. Today we are going to be telling you what we learned this morning at Sunday school. In Matthew 22 verse 37, it says you shall love, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Yes, 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 yes. 
I don't know if Mama Manzini is on the program. I don't want to leave anyone. And then you say, at the end of the service, Mama, you let us. Actually, should I say the young boys, the young men and the young women of the Lord? Amen. Do we have the youths in the house? Yeah. Come on, we can love the youth showing your energy. Come up front, running right now. We do not have time. Ah, uh, youth, you are like that. Oh, well. You must be vibrant. Oh, well. oh, well. Cause I know that God is great. I pray for redemption every time. I... Cause the little that I have in Christ is too much. I'm digging for life and I'm loving for life. I live to a Lord that did it not. I cried a lot. I did it, but God came to my comfort. I give him all the praise to him. I read some praise. Me that five and seven to my race. Rescue. Praying doesn't really need a gift. Paul really praying in jail when many open like Samson. I'm a cure line for the honey like John. Out love God more than money. No matter how they are, I know that God is love. Love is really easy if you learn to love. Would you sing like it David? Can you dance like it David? Oh, oh, oh. Give God the praise. Oh, oh, oh. Give God the grace. Oh, Jesus, please, dear Lord, hold me. If you leave my side, I die. That's the end of me. If 
never sees a change. You gotta do the main. I've been living life forever. Don't you see the grace? Don't you see the glow? Don't you see the change? I got the devil by the neck, so I raise my game. No matter how the end of the night. Should we put our father? Yes. 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 No. You see, ah. my father is an international artist. You need to book him, though he is a department himself. We need to see him on posters. You need to book a flight for him a hotel okay. and everything you see so, so what about now since he's a department you said it he is a department on is his it? own uh, in Zimbabwe they say okay. I might end up being in trouble okay. if I say I'm calling my father now uh -huh. I can't say father stand up I can't do that yes <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that in the ways. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God. Hallelujah. Yes. We have finished the, the, the department. I don't know which one uh, he left, but we go, we're running out of time right now. Hallelujah. Yes. Is the time for the testimonies. Yes. I was pondering on this verse, man of God. Okay. Second Timothy 1 verse 8. What does it say? Do not ashamed usanyara okay do not be ashamed usanyara okay do not be ashamed of confessing the testimony of the lord jesus all right all right all right usanyara kupupura kunaka kwa mambo jesu okay Ungabi na mantoni. Ugu. Ugu fagaza. No buhle benkosi. So it means if you are sitting right there. God has done something for you. And you are not standing up. To encourage my brother. To encourage mama. To encourage my sister. You are ashamed of God. Your creator. Do not be ashamed of the testimony of the Lord Jesus. I want to encourage you. Do you know the first time as ne? They came here. Some said because we saw the barrenness testimonies. Some said apostle prayed for my sister, problem of teeth. That sister gave a testimony of how God has been good to them. So there's someone who came here with a similar situation that God has delivered you from. And you are sitting right there. When we call for testimonies, you remain seated. What do you think God will feel when he's expecting Charlotte to stand up and encourage Esther? God is watching. It's the time for the testimonies, man of God. 
whereby we come to the front and say, God has been good to me. He delivered me from fibroids. Yes. And then Sister Esther right there is struggling with fibroids. Okay. He's going to have the faith. Yes. To say, my God can do it. Yes. But if Charlotte is quiet, okay. Esther will say, I'll die of my fibroids. So which testimony do we have today? I want to encourage you quietly as you are standing. I want you to think about it for a second. And you stand up, come to the front and say, my name is Esther. I want to thank God because I wasn't working for long. But God has remi remi re 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 remembered me. Because Evans is not working. He needs a job. Think about it, child of God. This is the time to confess about the goodness of the Lord. I will give a testimony as well. Amen. Amen. If God has healed you in these seasons of sickness, say, hey, I nearly saw death, but God came through for me. Maybe it's through the servant of God. But as long as you're under this anointing, there is a testimony. Yes. It's guaranteed. Yes. Those who have seen the goodness of the Lord in their lives. Yes. I'm inviting you now. Come, let's share what the Lord has done upon our lives. Amen. Come, let us share. I can come, let us share. Come, let us share. Come and testify are coming. the goodness of the Lord. Enough, come, enough. encourage somebody with your testimony. Come and encourage somebody with the testimony. Ah, you need is that testimony. Yes. Somebody else needs that testimony. Yay. Our viewers over there need your testimony. Amen. Come on, encourage somebody. Up, encourage your neighbor. Hallelujah. Encourage your loved one. Encourage, encourage your countrymen. Yeah. Oh. They are still coming. They are still, they are still coming. coming. You can still come. You are still welcome. Still you are still coming. welcome. They are still welcome. You are still, still welcome. Coming. You are still welcome. Yeah, still I up. know the Lord has Stand got up. something good for you. Do and the Lord has ashamed. done big things. For you. Amen. You, are you, are you are still welcome. You are still welcome from the overflow. Come. You are still welcome. Come. You are still welcome. Come. You can come in in numbers. Yes. Come in numbers. You are still welcome. Wow. Has the Lord been good to you? Amen. Come and testify the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Because I know some ne, yes. they don't really want to stand. But as you see the line going small, you've been coming and coming and coming. Hallelujah. Okay. We want to shame this devil yes. to say, hey, you tried. Yes. But you did not succeed. Yes. So this is what's going to happen, my brothers and sisters. It's three minutes each. And we're trying by all means to testify in English. But if push comes to show, can you say the language? But we try by all means to testify in English. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. To thank God. My name is Mrs. Mia. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. My job sick uh, at the crash where he goes. He said, Yo, he, he, they found me. They said, hey, your children is too much sick. You can come and fetch your children. And you must go to clinic. I thought, okay, no problem. I go there and fetch my children. The, um, the mom said to me, ah, mama, please, you must go with the children at clinic. I said, uh, okay. I, I just see, see when all night if, he, when he, if it's serious, maybe tomorrow morning I can go with him. The member says, no, you have to go now because this child, children is too much serious. I said, it's okay. When I reach home, I said, I will never go to clinic. Amen. Because I see this is not sickness, it's a demon. Amen. So I take the children and I start to pray for him. Amen. Uh, I see the hand of God. The temperature was high. Call me, it was 38 temperature. But I just pray. I said, God, I will never go to clinic. Let me say another sickness. It's not sickness. It's, it's like demons. You can't go to the clinic with the demons. Amen. Demons want prayers. Amen. I prayed for my children and he slept nicely. Early on the morning, I prepare him and go back with him at school. The memes say to me, did this child go to clinic? I said, no, he didn't go. But I take him. The, the way 
he is yesterday, today we can't take him. Let's, you can scan him, both there is a scan. They scan him, they see it was 36 temp, them out temperature. I see God, amen. I, I introduced them that I, what, what they said to me, what did you do? But I said, I said to them, I prayed. But yo, mama, are you serious? Yes. From that day until now, it's fine. Amen. I want to thank yeah. this God of Chiam and honor the anointing of this ministry. Amen. Second testimony is my husband has got problem of getting jobs to maybe two months, one month, get maybe he, they can stop him. Amen. But because of this anointing, now my husband is permanent. Because of this anointing, I want to thank God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, church. Hallelujah, church. First of all, I would like to thank Apostle for the anointing in this house. Yeah, I would like to thank God. Last week, Saturday, I turned 49. I'm so Every happy, I'm so blessed. Day. I thank God for blessing me. And this same week, I turned three in GM. This is the same time I came to GM in this week. <laughs> so I'm three years old in GM. I'm growing with GM. I'm Amen. aging with GM. As GM is getting on with more grace, so am I. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Amen. 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 Firstly, I honor the grace of this place. Amen. And the anointing. Amen. I want to thank God. Uh, God uh, in all event. Amen. There is no any time that we don't come with a text. Uh, we always come with a text since Father came to all event. Amen. We want to thank you, Father. You've done something. Amen. You've planted something in all event. Amen. Secondly, I want to thank God. Uh, there are some elders in Kwam Godi and other people, they were dreaming about me. Then they tell their elders and they allow them to come. They say, if you dream that late, pray with her. Go and pray with her. So those ladies, we started to pray together three weeks ago. Uh, when we were praying every time, sometimes I would not alerting that they are coming. Uh, it's Thursday, it's Saturday. When I came here on Saturday, they were already waiting at me for me to pray at my place. Amen. I honor, I thank God. I give them anointing. We take, I will put the anointing in our hands, then we pray. They love this anointing. It's doing something to their lives. Amen. Uh, when I started it, the devil started to attack me. Amen. There are a lot of attacks that comes when you started to when the fire started to come out, there are things that people, they don't want you to keep on praying. Amen. Uh, where I'm, uh, I'm selling, there is another lady that I'm selling with. Uh, when I went home last year, I gave her the place, the customers to give them and delivering vegetables and fruits, those people that cook. So those people, when I came back, I take my job to give and deliver them. So she was now going to them and attacking me. Then I tell you that these people are my people and I gave you, these are the people that I was delivering. Then that lady, she's a South African. Then she says she already reported a case to me in the police. Then I tell her father that this lady, she says she reported a case to me. Then when she went to the, old, the police, uh, I, I was just expecting even to go to jail because she's a disabled, amen. But uh, I want to thank God. I want to thank you, Father. When I tell you, my father just tell me that was her name. Then when she went to the police, she went with another lady that I work with. Then they tell her, you, you are not allowed to work yet with the people because you are disabled. And you have your high blood pressure is big. So when you are working with other people, you are now killing yourself because you are working with the crowd you face a lot of things amen then they just she just they just tell you that if you are now going there concentrate with your work leave that late so i want to thank that anointing it helps me and it Hallelujah. protects me from police and when she came back to me she greeted me and i greet her 
I say, how are you? She says, I'm fine. She says, uh, uh, I don't know what can I say to you, but I just say, keep on praying. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, the God, Jam, for life. Because where I come from, they buy uh, boxes while I'm still alive. They dig graves while I'm still alive. So I thank the protection and the guidance of uh, from God of Jam. That's the first thing, life. The second thing, uh, after the seven days fasting, I went back to, to work. But when I went, went back to work, uh, my boss was saying, guys, uh, I might close the company because I have no clients. So I don't have money to pay you. I don't have money to pay rent. I don't have money to pay paint. I don't have money to pay steel. I don't have money. So the best thing I would do is to close the company on Monday. So after the seven days, we worked on Monday, we worked on Tuesday, we worked Wednesday, half day. That Wednesday, we just forced it to go to work, but there was nothing to do there. So on that Wednesday, I decided, no, let me go to Pretoria. So I came to Pretoria because if I stay in Fernaheng, I'll be alone. And when I'm alone, stress uh, sometimes it, it affects me. So I went, I came to, to Pretoria, to Soshanguve. Then Thursday, we went to the mountain and prayed. We fasted and we prayed. Then when we came down from the mountain, I saw a message. Fide, please come to work tomorrow. I was not even expecting it. Then the second thing, he gave me the money for Thursday, which I didn't even go to work. Oh, then wow, wow. I went to work on, it was Friday. He gave me again more money that I, than I was expecting because I had only worked a, a Friday, Friday. Then he gave me money for Thursday and Friday and another money on top of that. Hallelujah. So I really thank God of Jam for that. Amen. So from today going onwards, I'll be saying, Dirin de Gando Chandumbo enda very far. Baba Musandi see so danti ne me. So danti ne me. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 family. Amen. On, let's say on that week of uh, fasting for seven days, my son, the one Mama wrote, was saying, Casey, we dedicate this song for you. He's in hospital. So he called us that, Mama, uh, I've been promoted at work. I'm a supervisor. Then we were so happy as a family. On Friday, no, on s Sunday, when we left church, he sent uh, his father, um, the car, the, the, the car that they gave him at work, that from today you're going to use this car as a supervisor. So we were like, ah, thank God. We thank God we're happy. Not knowing the devil is on the way. So I was like wondering, I even asked the father, like, did he take the anointing oil the day he left? Because uh, it was like a first thing, he was came and going. So I was just wondering, does he have anointing oil? But in my spirit, I was like, ah, he's fine, he's fine. Then on Tuesday, we see a message that um, he was cut the hand by a grinder. Uh, those who know grinder. So it cut from here, going up to the fingers. So I was like, yo, God, what's this? 
And that type, uh, the grinder thing is not his work. Remember, he was promoted as a supervisor. So one of the guys called him like, uh, Denzel, can you come and help me here? I want to take something. Then that's when he holds that grinder and he slipped off his arm. Then it cut him. So it was like a deep wound in me as a mother. But I said, you know what, God, you, you, you have you already paved the way for us since we were fasting for the seven days, this thing of death and everything. They took him to hospital, to Bella Bella. Then there was a lot of delays, you know, public hospitals. He was just sitting there, pain, 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 and in pain. Then I sent him the audio, blood speech for me. Then we were praying. But my pastor wrote, I remember, I want to thank you, Mama, for your support. She was calling and saying, Mama, let's pray together. The surgery is going to go well. But there was a, a lot of delays that he, they even, like, sleep without checking him. Without checking, or oh, what is it? But they just take him an x-ray, but they didn't take him to the surgery. Then the next day, it was around past 12, he's like, I haven't gone, I'm still in bed, but the pain is too much. I said, I said, keep on listening to the blood speak for me audio. Go to do something. Then his bosses were like, you know what? We have decided to take him to the private hospital because there is a delay. We don't know how far this uh, grinder cut his fingers. So we are taking him. So when they are busy now with the, this thing of transferring him, then the hospital decided to take him to the operation. The, it was an eight, uh, eight hours operation. Unfortunately, he lost one of the, the finger, but other fingers, he still have them. He can still work. The surgery went well. I just want to say thank you to those who were helping us to pray. Even our Father, I thank you so much. He was telling me that uh, Apostle is sending me messages. Uh, Mama, I'm fine. So we are just hoping that tomorrow they discharge him. He come close to us and we also monitor him. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, first of all, I would like to thank uh, uh, the anointing in this house. On Tuesday, just after, after our fasting, uh, I was at work and I was fine in the morning uh, from 8, 9, and then uh, we have uh, uh, a break at half past 10. I got my food, I sit down, and then I ate. So, uh, after my feast, I thought maybe uh, I'll feel I'll feel, uh, I'll feel more energy in my body. But, to my surprise, I was very weak. I felt even uh, I felt even uh, uh, to stand up from the chair that I was sitting. So, it troubled me a lot. And then, uh, I play an audio. Uh, after that audio, I managed uh, to move up from that chair. I told my colleague that I'm not feeling well for the meantime. So, I excuse myself for some time. And then, I come back to, to, to my work. I finish. And then, when I got home, it was worse. Uh, all my muscles from uh, from the head to the to uh, to the toes they were very painful. So uh, I keep on uh, uh, playing my audios, and then I was pretending to be fine because uh, I know that uh, if I told my wife or maybe if uh, if I say it as it is, it was going also to uh, uh, to affect her as well. So from Tuesday, Wednesday, it was uh, it was very hard, and uh, uh, I couldn't touch my phone uh, even even for ten minutes. I was just checking, and then I put it aside, checking it, uh, 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 checking it, and putting it aside. So, and some they were telling me that uh, it's flu, it's it was so, uh, but to my own. Ish. It was uh, 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 it was more than a flu, but with the audios that I listened to, in three days, uh, I managed to pull out of it, and here I am. 
Thank you for Elisa. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you for Lindy. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, sis. Thank you. One can only say thank you and may God himself richly bless you. And all the Pretoria North um, GM members, we truly appreciate you for all the days you invested after work coming to our house just to pray with us and just mourn with us. I thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen, church. Amen. I just want to testify the goodness of the Lord and also to honor the anointing of Apostle Sean. Uh, I'm someone who is a uh, under spiritual attacks especially when you're about to close and I decide to go home uh, before Easter two weeks back I suffered from a serious dizziness as I was standing I was feeling dizzy if I sit I was feeling dizzy if I sleep I was feeling dizzy and then my other sister told me that why can't you go home I said ah, I'll go home she said that I will give you the 1,000 so that you go home to Zimbabwe. And then I said, uh, I will go. For me, I was like, I will not go because there is an Easter conference. I will not go back. And then during the Easter conference, there was a wave of deliverance. I came here when I was feeling dizzy. And she was like, how will you go? I said, I will go. And then on my way here, I almost fell. I said, uh, the devil is a liar. I came here for the three days and then on Sunday after the deliverance, it started again and she was like, you see, I told you and then I was like, ah, the devil is at work, I will pray. So I wanted to go back to work and they gave me two weeks. They said, you are not fit. So I was playing all the audios for Apostle and then on Sunday, where there was anointing oil, I felt something coming out of my body totally and then from there, I decided to phone home. I had sent some money. And then I'm just here to glorify that. I started my first project. And my cheeks are seven days today. I just want to thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cheshiamari. Amen. 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 Asine kudawo kwa kuzoti mashoko kwa kakura ndi akwanisi. Chitenda baba. Nekuvuma kushandiswa na mwari. Makada anwa na jeso mkada era nguwa ya kafanira. Waizu wa kutuwa chesa chipo mkati mamuri chasu nungurono waka wanda. Bandaka uya muno nda shetu wane wana wangu njiva ku Zimbabwe. Nakato uiri na oma mwe masichiwe shensi. Kumukoma na wanda uya na emu nomu. Nofunga nasa hamu. Mwari waka ita kudakwa hu. Amen. Ndakawuya ndikanzwa moyo wangu chitai ndio mandai shuira nekundai gara ndakati mwari ini nandi na ukurira dzimwe church ndakakurira mapenda coast ndaipinda enzi Kairos International Church Apostle Jonas wakazoenda kwa America wakati si atakadaro munoziwa kuno vamwe anenge wasirwa basa ra mwari mukuru we basa aenda kwa aenda vamwe vanosara vachikanganisa basa ra mwari Dino shuira zikuru kutu wakuru wano mabasa munu. Kana baba wazengu waenda kwa waenda. Chingete zae basa ramwari. Amen. Saka ndaka zuona zao kuitika muya. Ndaka ruwari wane mwana wangu gotwe. 193. Wanaka vumburu zwa ye. Seo grupu ya iwe pamba pangu. Haa. Saka shewa basa wano wamari. Ndaka vumburu zwa anza ane bora. Ndiya ano dini. Ane ewe ehe. Ah, ndaka shingisa wanongu, ndikati wanongu. Zili nani kufira maoko wa mwari? Panu kufira zenyika. Ndikati vumburuzi watili mkombero wa jesu. Ndaka vumburuzi wano wa mwari kusha, nepe kubata. Ndaka vumburuzi wa kushika hama cha hizu. Ndikati ndikuta urile hama cha hizu, zikato ramba kubasira. Wamuwa chiteta nekusha ina. Panguwa yoyo ndandi sina motikari. Motikari ya kafa. Bazi raisha nda kwa mtoko wa meno mwe munu wakango pinda ora pakwa. Redu racho kwa uto sumu za bazi kwa ushika kundoro eresa pa mdiruwe toilete. Bazi rika parari. Na nazi munu ye ana mbone kwa ndi oma tangire zinu 2007. 
Zvino hazina usombomira mushe mabhazi zvafa mota baba kubasa washandira imwe kambani ha washanda 23000 yemari yafana kubhadharwa murungu akabhatisa zvinhu zvakatanga kuvira pasi zvishoma nezvishoma ndikangoramba chingoshinga china mata asi pakazorwara mwana wangu wechituyu wekupesira ndakashungurudzika ndikashungurudzika ndikaramba china mata izvo Zvaenda kuwaskana zvikando shungurudza zvikashungurudza izvo zviri pandiri ndikashungurudzika nekurwara nekurwara mukandoona njiya chitamba pana ndire gain tambire mwari wangu amen ndakarwara zvinotyisa vanhu vamwari usandione ndakamira kudai inyasha dzamwari ndakangotanga nongonzi ndichipona mwana wangu kupedzisira kuti 93 ngotanga chingonzi ngorwara kupera simba kumusoro kuzasi kune simba kumusoro hakuna simba kuzofamba it's from 2093 kuzobata chirwere 95 hanzi spine okodi yenyu yakabhenda mai makaita accident here kana kuti makaita ndikata handina zvakangotanga chingonzi wofamba famba pakati pemusana apa zvinhu zvakaramba zvakada asi ndakazongobatsirwa zvikadini ndakaramba nchina mata uye zvawambuka zvandivhumburudza futi ndakarwara tb ka5 ndikapona vanhu vamwari ndakaramba nchingona mata ndagara ndagara ndikaita stroke muromo uyu kaenda pa site zvikagara zvakadaro ndikapona ndikahambuka ndikazogara ndikazorwara futi ndikata 3 months ndiri muchipatara zvikapera ndikabuda vanhu vamwari kana satana achipinda mumuri kunoda kushinga baba munongozi vanhu varume vanononoka kupata zvinhu zvamwari ndakamira samai nemuri Izvo zvauya kumukomana wechitu bvumbu basa rapera kuenda Zimbabwe makombi ese bva makomba hapana kusara mwana akatambura ndakatambudzika nevana kushaya chekudya kukambaira kuti asi asinda karamba ndichina mata zvabva ipapo zvabva zvauya kumukomana uya aiuya muno ndofunga momuona bvambu accident abuda rumpenyu accident Ipapa driver magonyeti aingobuda asina kana chironda kana chi kusvika murungu ati hi mbomira rombo kumisa umbona kuti chimbori chi asi ndinokuda nichakushedza kubasa haiwa agara agara ashedzwa kubasa awira futi basi adzoka kumba agara gara yo bai uya nasiso wake vari hapo achichinga siso wacho kudai zvina zvinomira baba wakazoti zvo Zimbabwe akatega ndoshandira South Africa ngoiziwa kuti mwana achaenda kodini hameno mwari zvaingo gadzira wega kuya kuno baba ndiwo akutomira nezvese time times ganza auri kumira nezvese mira kuti mbangure basa racho gadzira mamotikari wano wabhadhari gadzira mamota wano wabhadhari ama adikana mukomana mudiki zvo zvari kumusha anongoitawo zvaninga achingoita Ndiba ane ndi artist asi basa rake kuendesa masong zvikuita sei zvakavharwa vanhu vamwari hapana kana chakabuda saka baba ndi warungomira nei nemuri mukomana achituvha zvana basa ndiye akungoshinga nevasikana akundodai mukomana yanga akagara kuda kudai zviri kutamba kuda kudai zvaramba kuda kudai pandakauya muno ndikati muno umu ndombhasi sopu yangu amen ndakapua vhesi namwari Kuna chechi andaipinda kana ameno kuti akaone pandiri ndanga ndiri ndiri munhu uye anokwira makomo vanhu vamwari andigarira zvinhu pasi ndinoramba nchingoita one ndofu kutsanya kuita sei hanzi zverudzi uyu zvinoda kutsanya nekuna mata ndakaona samai ndikata zvokutamba ndinodyirwa vana vakasunura saka ndairamba nchingodaiwa vanhu vamwari hana kusiya pandakauya muno nchitarisa baba ndakata Zvangu zvaita. Zvangu zvadini. Zvaita. Ndakapua buku ya mprofita obedaya. Ndakaiwerenga panguva yekutambura ipapo. Ndakabva ndati mwari mataura. Zviri kuitika mukati mehupenyo muri yangu. Asi mwari ndi muchandi nyaradza. Mama adikanu. Mukomana waita yana esondo pano. Baba achizodza mafuta. Akazodzwa mafuta baba notondera muromo wakatora zvanzi by 7 days uchiona zvichaitika Monday chipiri chitatu china kuma 2 o'clock murungu uya phone mastermind 
Uya kubasa. Tuto kuda isozi. Baba kwa utakura mwana kuenda nae. Nizu wazwa haka enda kudebe na kaloda. Nizura iwo floda mjubeki. Iwo floda ndo vanzu Cape Town. Abaka shezu wa kubasa. Friday anga chiti ndukuenda wa Zimbabu kwa gazi sama zuwa mama. Apera. Asa haka enda ndakati mwari wacha zuwa zuwa ita. Nizura haka zo shezu na baba wa fonu baba. Uya ini maari kwa ndruku enda wa Cape Town. Ndo manya baboda pa endo wezi sama zuwa. Hallelujah, no amari. Hallelujah. Anzika na ama zika kurasa. Jeso harasi munu. Nasi waku fumburu zika kwa mkazi umkuru ne wana mata kwa wakabata mkomferu. Wakabata mkomferu. Amen, amen, amen. Waru enzi umbo ino waka kosha. Hallelujah. No kutenda ibaba. Hallelujah. Time ya liya tijika. Our time is going fast. So I just want you to straight to the point and thank you so much amen 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 my amen must be very strong because yes amen 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 father i greet you in the name of jesus the pastors and congregation is large um i'm here to testify the goodness of the lord uh, on thursday it was my birthday uh, thank you so much, GM Couples Group, for the messages that you were sending me. They were so sweet. Uh, ever since I was born, I never received presents in my, on my birthday. But on Thursday, because of God of GM, because of God of GM, because of God of GM, Hallelujah. I received a lot of presents. Even myself, I was asking myself, and what's this? Am I going to die this year because now this one? Uh uh, no. It's too much. It never happened in my life. Then, yes. <laughs> yesterday, uh, we have visitors here. Visitors, please grab that chair that you are sitting. It's your chair, it belongs to you. If you leave that chair, if you go outside of GM, ah, your life is going to be worse and worse and worse. When I came here, I was, I was nobody. But because of the end of our apostle, when I look at myself on the mirror, I said, yeah, this is God of GM. I didn't have anything. I was working and I lost my job. I didn't know one of the good days I will be a boss. Wow. Now I'm paying people instead of me to pay to get paid from someone. Amen. Because of God of Jia. Because of the end of apostle. Amen. People of God don't undermine this man. The anointing in his hand is too much. Just grab it. When he says something, just grab it. Do it. Don't undermine him. Don't undermine his age. He's older than us, all of us in spirit. Oh, yes, darling. Amen. Aish, my husband, ever since now, he's 25 years together. He never celebrates my birthday. Hey. Hey. He even forget to say a birthday to me in the morning that day. But yesterday, uh -huh. I, my husband, can you stand up? I want them to see you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus. It's because of God of Jim. Hallelujah. God of Jim changed him. In the morning, he said to me, what are you doing today? I said, no, nothing. He said, okay, I want you to accompany me to Marabastat. I said, no, I don't want you. I want the guys to finish what they must finish. Then he said, no, no, you keep on persisting. I said, okay, it's fine. Let me go with you. He said, uh, around one. Then I said, oh, okay. I, my daughter, she was excited because she liked things too much. <laughs> so around one, he said, let's go, let's go. I, on our way, it's not Marabasta to me. I we went to the garage, he poured petrol. After pouring petrol, I heard the GPS. I said, GPS? Now we don't know Maraba start. Oh, I didn't ask. I said, okay, let's go. I went our way. He drive, he drive. 
when he dropped, he said, oh, uh, I want to fetch my phone there somewhere. <coughs> he turned. Then the GPS said, when you turn right, that's your destination. Oh, okay. Because he said he's going to fetch his phone. Oh, to my surprise, I saw uh, it was Deo Amaspa. <laughs> to me, I said, okay. He wants to fetch the phone. Ah, he came out of the car. He go inside the gate. And the ladies, they were running to him. They were talking to him. They were smiling. Okay. And then he was, uh, they said, go to the reception. Oh, he only walked two steps. He came back. And he showed them uh, the message on the phone. And then he came back to the car. He opened the door on my side. He said, ah, ladies, this is your destination. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was surprised. I, I was confused. My destination is here for what? Okay, the lady said, hey, ma'am, come. Welcome. What, what? Uh, water, cold drink, juice, wine. I said, no, water. Because my heart was beating so fast. Oh, they took me to the room. There is two beds. Okay, ma'am, and the rest, this is the towels one. I said, me, 25 years. Hey, 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 hey. 25 Jesus. years. Jesus. Hallelujah. Then he did come here on his way. Yeah, my wife, this is your separate. This is your, my present to you. Oh, wow. So I just want to thank God for him. I just want God to increase more on him. When you go to home, again, a surprise. The yard was full of people. Oh. My son and his friends and my family, they were praying for me. They said, no, today it's your day. They were treating me like a queen yesterday. Allah. I just want to thank God. Allah. Allah. So, Father, please, can you drink with me? I can't ah. drink alone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> May God bless you, Father. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, my testimony uh, goes like this. Né? So I've been like suffering from period pains for the past 11 years. I think I gave this testimony um, in the WhatsApp group yesterday. So today I was just like, okay, let me, this is my first time standing in front of people. So forgive me if I'm a bit uh, nervous. So I've been suffering for, uh, with period pains for the, since 2013 until this year, last month. So the thing is, before my, my due date, I have to go and buy medication and stuff and stuff. So uh, this time I told myself that, you know what, I'm not going to be drinking any medication and, and anything else. So my husband was like, you know what, we have to buy medication because I don't want anyone to be bothering me at night when I'm sleeping. So I told him that, no, you know what, don't worry, I'm so tired. So when the time came, pain started. I was like, okay. Then I went to WhatsApp. I went to that audio that says uh, blood speak for me. Then I took my glass of water and my audio. I put uh, the phone on my stomach. I started praying along with the audio. When I was done praying, I was waiting to hear something. But like, I didn't feel anything at all. Wow, and until wow. now, I'm still waiting to hear something. Hallelujah. So I just want to thank God thank the God of this house, the God of this commission. He has done it for me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In chapter testimony is shown. Last Sunday, Pastor Pavagati on Facebook of the fire oil. Amen. Do not know who see me who I see. We are to the moon walk in into me now. Jesus, what I ask. Amen. Amen. So, Pastor, do not Amen. 
watching the services on Facebook so she decided to come here in church she was sitting outside she said she had a problem um, first of all she had uh, those 11 that they used to to actually it's something to do with um, spiritual things whereby they use a, a razor blade and then they use some muti at, at the back, on her back so she says when she will be sleeping she would be it would be as if someone is hitting her at the back so she says um, she came here the apostle prayed for her here when she prayed for her uh, two things happened uh, she started vomiting and she spent some days vomiting she didn't understand and she had said when she came she did come not to receive a child but to get money for for her to look after the children so she says after coming to the church and vomiting all those days she doesn't know what happened and that hitting at the back stopped and she's thanking god for the miracle that she has received in jesus name Amen. hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen i want to greet you all in the name of jesus christ amen amen and uh, i want to speak in china <laughs> English. You don't go speak and then show and show and ring at all. Tipisa, amen. The Koya Panapa, our suffering, the Mafibros, amen. The words you are named Dumbo, so the Philippines to move a Mdumbo Mount. But the day that the homes on a song of Panapa Constance, Sister Constance. Now I'm healed. I'm feeling a pain because I can't explain it. A pain can't go to a pain can't get it. No can go to a pain. You can go back to a phone. I just spray spray my stomach. And then in the tanga go play out your blood speak for me. And then now my daughter was wearing a white tracksuit here. She even knows but he, if I'm start praying this audio, you start ano tanga go bata pano wata ma. Sakantu na kutenda mwari, amen. Na kutenda mwari na ngati ne shini futi sha indi famba kumsana kwangu. Tuna kutenda mwari and kwani sondo mtenda ne. And this is na shanti chari watu wanaju. And this is na shanti famba, amen. Hallelujah. So amen. Hallelujah. Our sister is thanking God for healing. She said she had a problem with fibroids and there is something that used to ha uh, move at her back. After the prayers, she's now healed. She's thanking God for the grace in the house. Amen. 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 I want to greet you all in the name of the Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I want to greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Okay. My testimony goes like this. Yeah. Uh, uh, a month ago, I so 15. Either my father or my little sister or me, because we are just two daughters in my family. Muso wa 15 March pane anga kanza arukufa. Kone kuda kwe wa royo kumba kwe. Asi dodo tenda mwari ne kuzi. Na asi tese tiripano. Tadari ka muso wa 15. Tese ya bana arukuru wara. Tese tiri wa penyu. Hallelujah. Dodo tenda mwari shaka. Dodo tenda mwari shakare. A few weeks ago. Sorry. A few weeks ago, I was going to apply and I got a great coffee young, last year, but one. And now my grades are going to go to the school. But uh, I hope to become a flight attendant. So, I was college and I got to apply. So, I got to apply three weeks ago and I got to apply. But then I got to promise to watch the phone every Wednesday, the same weekend I apply. We get to go to the school. 
ndisina kufonerwa rechi tura jo varapura ndisina kufonerwa wiki randa zo uya wiki rafura randa uya sunday ndakawe ndeka na matirwa na pastor rodi na apostle then monday yacho ndakabuda ndazorano intingi yangu vanda na mata mama na dada watombo zvisiye cuz i nandi kwati munhu aya singa believe is there like no kwati ameno nyango mawapo ano yana anointing kumba kwati anointing yo yatongobikisa muri we yo ya aina basa asi after after that was gwashe kufa ah ndakatanga kuishandisa ndakatanga kuishandisa cuz hapana ano da kufa hapana ano da kufa cuz ndino gara ndakahuzwa every time and again shandisa anointing terera ma audio wa posto nechingotaiwa mama dawo netsa cos nechiti ko vana notes vana japraise atavasiye because ndo wana number 1 at nechiterera so zvana posto nechitona ito ri waste of time pangwa yacho nechitona ito ri waste of time pangwa yacho sorry to worry so after that was gasha kufa ndo panda kati ndaka tora phone ya mama vasinga zvizie vanda send ma audio app wa post on phone mangu right now hato zvisi pawari kwa kusenda ma audio wa post on phone mangu vanda tora anointing yao futi vasinga zvizie vandanga kushandisa vasinga vasinga zvizie so last week vanda kana matirwa na apostle ah uh, monday yacho ye yeah, week ra furai ndo yandaka zofonerwa nevanhu veku college vachindi funza about ma um, ma qualifications hangu ndikabaudza kuti ya yeah. and now kuda hangu zvakanaka chi zvikanzi i see problem cha tinongoda pa uri chete chi english yako fish routes go kuti iri right then the day before yesterday vakavha kuti sendera registration form saka nongoda utenda nwari nekuti nani singa zvitarisire kuti zvingaitike so fast <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah our sister is testifying um uh from the deliverance from the spirit of death she says in her family every 15th of march someone has to die in the family but she's thinking god that none of them has died the 15th of march has gone by not none has died and she's also thinking god that she has been applying for the position of flight attendant of which she, she it seems like she has been called for registration and she's thanking god for the anointing in the house amen hallelujah ngitsandi kubonga u unkunkulu walendo wakule ndawo ngifuna kubanga u pastor u pastor ngahlangana naye Oliver he was there to pray for another guy but as he was leaving i asked him will you be able to pray for my sister who is in hospital she's in icu and he agreed he asked me for her photo i didn't have my phone that time so i told him i don't have a photo he said it doesn't matter new down I knew down he prayed for my sister through me like he was declaring for the healing for my sister through me yeah. and uh after that like a, a day later my sister was out of the ICU hallelujah and the, and the following day she was discharged she was fine oh jesus thank you amen hallelujah Amen. I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to honor the anointing of the house. I honor you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My testimony when I came here, I was having a migraine headache which started at 3 p.m. until to 8 p.m. every day. And I was having a problem of backache, legs, everything, not every no, maybe every part of my body was painful, ulcers. So I started to use blood speak for me and the anointing water from that since I started to use it I'm healed from everything Hallelujah uh, my main problem is that I was practicing to be a sangoma without my knowledge knowing that I'm practicing to be a sangoma oh, because okay. when people were saying this they are sick I was telling them medicine herbs without my con- knowing that i'm practicing to be a sangoma until someone a prophet told me that you are going to be a sangoma you have get a gift of healing so if you continue doing this you are going to be a sangoma 
So on these seven days fasting, when I was praying all the doing the fasting, I became more sick until the last day was Sunday when I came here. Then I have a dream. That's when I was delivered because it, I cannot explain the dream, but I was delivered through a dream from all the sangoma that I was practicing. I so I really you. want to thank God this morning about everything that he has done from my life. And I wa also want to thank God of this house. He really works. Amen. Because I was in another churches where I was going, ministering, doing everything. But I was working for the devil without my knowledge that I'm working because I was doing it unknowingly. So I really want to appreciate and thank you, especially my father. I thank you for giving us all these audios to pray with. I really appreciate it. Give thanks for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, my name is Kevin, Kevin Mousen. I'm just here to thank the church on what is happening to everyone, I think, in this house. I'm not good at English, but I think uh, you can, yes. can fix where it is wrong. You are doing well. Uh, I came here through my, my mother, who was just there. He just, I, I phoned her. I said, no, my father is, is not feeling well at home. He was having a very big wound from here to there. Then they said, no, you have to come with the, with the photos to the church. I came with the photos. I gave, the, I gave Papa the, the photos. He, and then he prayed for them. Then I also, he, he, she also introduced me to Pastor Tobias. And Pastor Tobias was also helping, helping me on audios and prayers. Then by now, we were used to, they were using to phone, to phone me every day. Baba is not feeling well here, he's almost about to die, this and that, about that wound. I think it's two years back. Since I came here, now there's no call from home. Hallelujah. He is not fully uh, healed, but it's something which is now normal. After that, I said, no, since my father is, is, being, is helped already, why not me? I'm in poverty, I don't have work, I don't have what. They, they're supposed to help me also. That's why I also continue coming here, telling Pastor Tobias that, no, I'm not working, Pastor. Can't you just do something for me? He said, no, there's no problem. We'll keep on praying for you. Just listen to the audios. Everything will be fine. Now I can even talk to the bosses there outside there. There's no, that man which you want to give me, I don't like it. I Hallelujah. need to charge the job myself because that's my job. Jesus. And no one is, is saying no to that Amen. up to now. So I want to thank everybody, uh, Father, for what you, are, what you are doing in this church. Amen. And all the pastors that, uh, at the back there. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to thank my father for teaching me to pray, especially when you dream something bad. Amen. For me, I used to say, if I dream, it's like, I just say, ah, to, sometimes I said, I dream something is happening, or it's bad, or good. Then I tell my father, my father says, sometimes it's a warning, you must pray. Amen. It's starting last month, it's last month, it's Sunday, I came to church. When I go back, I wash my clothes and put in a washing line. When I go back, I find the person selecting clothes for Prince and mine and leave for my small boy for town. And I just take those clothes and take all of the pegs of them. And I said, ah, it is well, I leave it like that. I take those ones, I leave. And after that, it's starting week of this month, first week. It's just a dream come to me and you fight with someone. I tell him, you take my money, you take my money, it's you, you know where is my man. But it's for me, when I wake up, I was thinking, ah, how can this person come to my house because he don't know where I'm staying? But I'm thinking, I said, Father, say, if you dream something, maybe something won't happen, you must pray. And I pray about it. And that first week, when we are not around, there's no one. Someone come and try to break my door. When they start, try to break my door, I don't know what's happening because he tried to remove the lock and leave it like that. 
When we come back, it's Prince started to tell me, said, ah, you see there's someone tried to open the door. And I check, I try to fix it. I leave it like that. I tell my next doors to tell, said, please, if you hear someone try to open the door, check, or if it's me or not mine, check and ask the person, because my house, there's no husband. It's me only and my kids. If you see a man in my door, ask. And they ignore, because they thought maybe I'm just talking, complaining. And that same week, next week, I didn't know there's another, that person come back. And he come back, is two for another person to our floor. Me, I didn't know anything. And the third time, he came back again. He came to my door also. When he came to my door, maybe they didn't see our movement. They saw us go out, but they didn't see. But because we suspect, it's the person stay, the place we stay. <coughs> when they didn't see us moving, they came. It's around three, four. The kids was inside, but maybe they didn't know, see them. When they came. When he came, he knocked first. Prince say he knocked first. And when he knocked, he keep quiet because, you know, this person, if it's me, I will talk to them, go open the door. <coughs> when he's quiet, he saw the person, the key start moving. He want to try to open the door again. And that time, he's moved peace with the door. He say, Taonga, go to toilet. When he go to toilet, he hear the movement of the door. When he close the door, <coughs> and he the feet, that person start running away. When he opened the door, I find uh, out, outside the lock is already moving. He leave it like that. And when I'm going to complain to the caretaker, I said, ah, you, you are complaining, that person, he come again. I said, yes, he came back. He said, ah, there's still for another person to your floor. And I want to thank God for that, for covering, for protection, because Amen. it's supposed to be my party. They go to break for another person. And for that one, they didn't break the key. It's like they open and take the radio and my money. But for me, they failed to open it. And I want thank to thank you. God for my child, Prince. Hallelujah. Uh, Prince was the person who used to bleed. If I say bleed for nursing, bleed, starting with two years. He bleed. Like if I say, or someone asking me, Prince, to go to your house, I said no. Because I was afraid of he, if he sleep like this, when the blood start coming, maybe you fail to breathe. But he, because of God of Chiam, now it's a history. It's Hallelujah. Not, now it's one year, no bleeding in the nose. Oh, no Jesus. more. Now he's sleeping the way he want. I'll never wake up at night to check him. I want to thank God for that. Hallelujah. Repents for Jesus. Hallelujah. I greet you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I greet the pastors and the congregation at large. I'm here to thank God of what he has done on my side. You know, I'm, I, you know, February is a hard month, especially coming out of January. So I got paid my salary for January. February, March, I didn't get paid. But because I believe in the teachings from Apostle, he always give us some financial blessings and we always receive. Not knowing how God works, we, people don't doubt the anointing of this house. Hallelujah. Uh, I could manage to get finances from people whom I don't even know to pay rent for February, for March. Even now as I'm standing, I haven't got paid my third salary. But I'm living. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. Amen. Because there was a hole in my wallet whereby even if I get money, that money just goes. But now when I didn't get paid, God is still planting financial breakthrough in my life. I managed to do whatever I want to do. There is not even a one day where my kids slept without food. When, whenever they ask for something, I manage to provide. I give glory to God of GM for what is done on my Amen. side. He keeps on protecting me. He keeps on blessing me. I might not have money in my pocket, but in the spirit I'm a millionaire. I believe Hallelujah. because Apostle gave us millions. Amen. I never stuck. Honestly, I never stuck. Even my car, my boss asked me, how are you managing? I'm failing to, to pour fuel for all the fleet of cars, but you are coming every day. How do you manage to get money to pour your, your car? I said, no, by the grace. Then he, they always say, one day, I would love to see your God. I said, come to GM. You will meet Amen. our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much yeah, for the pastors who always uplift Jesus. us. Because when you are alone, no man is an island. 
you need other people. Pastor Tobias, he always greets Pastor Mike, checking. All the pastors, they check. By checking, that means I'm still a, I'm a son of God. Those people, they've got their anointing, which makes them feel, which makes me feel that I am part of the family. Amen. Thank you, fathers. Thank you, sisters. Thank you, children. I also thank the children because sometimes when I'm at home, I see the videos where they sing. It motivates me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to thank the Holy Spirit, Father. Uh, my testimony goes on like this. I met another lady on WhatsApp. So she just tell, tell me her problems. She said my her husband is gone for almost two years with another woman living here with five kids. So now, now I just received a message from her. Said that her husband is back home. I just want to thank God. Hallelujah. Because I gave her a number for Apostle, and sometimes we used to pray together. So I just want to thank my father. Amen. Hallelujah. Give glory to Jesus. Amen. You can do better than that. Hallelujah. This is what God of GM can do. Hallelujah. Amen. We have stopped more testimonies because we had a lot of items. That's why we are just behind with the time. Hallelujah. Yes. We thank God for that. Hallelujah. Amen. Now it's time for announcement. Hallelujah. Amen. Auntie GM is coming. Clap hands for her. Hallelujah. Are we still having more testimonies from online, our online platforms? Uh, this week only we received 23 barrenness testimonies. 13 healing testimonies. Uh, and 17 uh, restoration testimonies, of which on the restoration there was one of a person that was abducted. And because of the prayers, he was released. And another one was lost. They could not find him for some time. But because of the prayers, the person just comes, came back. Uh, so this month only, this month of April only, we have a total of 59 barrenness testimonies Amen. so far. Uh, which means we are going higher and higher because last month of March, of March, we were having 53 barrenness testimonies in March only. But now we are in April and April is not yet finished. We are on 59. Let's clap hands for Jesus. And that brings our total barrenness testimonies to 4,684 recorded testimonies. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Amen. Uh, next week on Friday, we are going to have an all-night prayer uh, with a topic called Back to Sender. Yes, if you have never experienced a witch, you would not understand. But if you are, you know, Back to send a miracle all night prayer next week, Friday. Let's be all here. Come early. Otherwise, you will watch us on TV. Come early. Um, um, next week, cell, group, cell groups prepare for your items. So next week, all cell group, we are going to, you know, your items here. Um, please buy your water. Buy your water because this service is going to be the angel of fire, miracle, anointing water service. So it's a must that every one of you have water. Uh, Mama Manzini, where are you? Okay. There she is. The water is going for 10 rand. You must have your water with before Apostle starts to minister. And yeah, have your water with. If you have it in your bottle, then it's okay. But if you don't have it, buy it and be ready. Thank you. One more announcement. This coming week, starting from tomorrow until Thursday, we will be meeting here every day from 6 to 7 to those that stay around. There is a serious wave of sickness and hospitalization. So we'll be praying over that thing from tomorrow 
in the evening, 6 p.m. until Thursday. It will be 6 to 7. Then Friday, we are going to get into the all-night prayer. Those that stay around, which is Gezina, Kempton Park, CBD, Bosman, Acadia, Sunnyside, maybe uh, Queenswood as well. We will be here every day. And those who stay far and you can come, it will be wonderful. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the announcements. Uh, now, I'm sure we are ready uh, and prepared for the offerings. Amen. Uh, maybe somebody might ask, why do we need offerings? Amen. Number one, if we are giving an offering, it is an expression of love. Remember John 3.16, okay? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. God loved, but in expression of love, he gave his only son to the world. Amen. Amen. On that part, yeah. Maybe somebody is saying, I'm seeding. Maybe somebody is saying, I'm tithing. I'm sure we all know the financial desk, right? Those who have their seeds, those who have their tithes, uh, also come and uh, contribute towards uh, the, the financial desk here. But for now, uh, I'm leaving it up to praise and worship team as they'll be leading us. And as you are coming up front, declare with your money, Declare with whatever that you have. I'm sure those who are watching online, they are baking uh, details online. I'm sure the media team is sorting out everything. So, as you are coming up front, uh, declare on your money whatever that you want, whatever that you need. Uh, communicate with that money, okay? Praise and worship. Hallelujah! Amen! Amen. May we all arise in the house of the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah!
your seats in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wow, wow, it's been a pleasure. Man of God. Should I say it's been a pleasure? Oh, yes, it was. To me, it was a privilege. A privilege. And an honor. And an honor. Yes. Doing business with, with you. We are done yes. as your cause. We say thank you so much for lending us your ears. Hallelujah. Amen. As we leave to the choir, you're going to give us one praise, one worship. Then apostle will be coming. Clear thanks for Jesus. May God bless you all. Have a wonderful service and we are out. Hallelujah. Let's all stand in the presence of the Lord. Just give your neighbor a high five. Just give your neighbor a high five. Say welcome to the arena of liberty. Let's all stand, let's all stand, let's all stand. We want to celebrate your testimony. Tell your neighbor that welcome to the arena of liberty. Welcome to the arena of liberty. Tell the other neighbor that welcome to the arena of liberty. Welcome to the arena of liberty. Shimboti yaka yaka. Yaka yaka. yaka. Give me J. Give me O. Do we have there is joy in the name of Jesus. deliverance in the name of Jesus. healing in the name of Jesus. Up, up. 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 Jesus. Down, down. Satan and his face your neighbor. Just face your neighbor. Are you there, somebody? Tell your neighbor that. Jesus ne wa hangundo mziva ne minana.
Mau gue punya kamu dua sesu Karena wina cawur Semua saya punya kasu Ayo Rani Rigi jama cipun 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 Loh Iyo Pakai jaba Simona Shiro Wapo Are you there somebody? Mundo was the position so 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 Ricky Jama Timon 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 Live Jesus Higher
for the last time. I want you to face your neighbor for the last time. Ushina iso. For the last time. Ushina iso. Ushina iso. Ushina iso. Ushina iso. And this is Kukuana, yo. And this is Kukuana. Just face your neighbor.
hour in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that you may bless this day, you may bless your congregation, you may touch everybody. We declare this day to be a holy day. May you speak to your people and do whatsoever that you intend to do in their lives in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's take our seats. We are too much behind time. I don't want to do much. I just want to distribute the water which is here. So that's the main aim of the service. Uh, greetings to you. Makadini Ninjani Muribwanji That's beautiful. Psalms 104, verse 4. Psalms 104, verse 4. Mapisarema 104, verse 4. I wish if I would not eat much of the time because uh, uh, our time is not balanced today. We need to do a lot of things. I need to pray for people. I need to distribute the water. And uh, God, there is a big reason for us to be having this kind of service. Psalms 104, uh, verse 4. Psalms 104, verse 4. It just says, The Lord makes his, say, his messengers to be like wind. And his servants, he make them to be flames of fire. His messengers, he makes them to be like wind. And his servants, the flames of fire. Say, I am fire. I am a flame of fire. Today we are going to talk about the fire. I don't think I'll talk much. I just need to pray. Let's hope you have your bottle of water, right? Do you have it? Okay. Uh, then First Samuel chapter 2, verse 25. If one person sins against another, God may mediate for the offender. But if anyone sins against the Lord, who intercede for them, his sons, however, did not listen to their father's rebuke, for it was the Lord's will to put them to death. May the Lord bless his word. Where is your bottle? Can I see? Raise up your bottle. The flood gets off heavy. Let it rain. Lift up. Let it rain. Hey. When the flood gets off heavy, let it rain. So, so she and I lift up, lift up your bottle. Changing it. Shanae, 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 Shanae,
Shanae, Shanae, Shanae.
fruitfulness in your water. I say fruitfulness in your water. I say fruitfulness in your water. Are you parted? Who said so? I open up. 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 She tata takata. Sisi kisiana. Susu paka. Tetekeri. She tkopa. Overflow. I say fire in your water. Overflow. I say money in your water. Overflow. I say marriages in your water. Check it there. That's our God there. Open. In your water, marry water, financial breakthrough in the water, asset promotion in the water, bonuses in the water. I release money. I purify it in the name of Jesus I give it power in the name of Jesus some of you that water will be heavy for you I put cages I put cages now I put cages now a smaller bottle will begin to weigh like a 50 cages of cement I put cages now. I put cages now. I put cages now. Let it be expensive water. Let it be the healing water. Let it be the miracle water. Let it be the life changing water. Let it be the anointed water. The God who changed water into wine is the God who is changing your water into a miracle power. I pray in the name of Jesus that your bottle may become expensive I make it 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 expensive whosoever is holding an anointed bottle and demons are tormenting you they must leave you now 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 that demon that is behind the breaking up of marriages they must leave you now 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 all demons of poverty let them go now 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 let them go now. Let them go now. Every pain in your body. In the name of Jesus. A pastor is needed over there. Just lift up your, your, your bottle. Say, Father, I am holding expensive water. I am holding, I am holding expensive water. Expensive water put whatsoever you want put more ingredients put fire put deliverance put healing put restoration 
put fire, put healing, put deliverance, put restoration, financial breakthrough, deliverance. Now lift it up. Everybody who was bewitched and then you are holding the water, let it neutralize that witchcraft power now. 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 In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Clemens for Jesus. Wait to drink. Don't open that bottle. I'm not yet done. is needed there, right there. Right. Listen. I, I think Pastor Tobias went there. It's fine. Listen. Today I don't want to do much. I want to pray for that water. So I have already added some other things. I'm going to add more things to your water. Please, when you go home, the water that you are holding, the same empty that you are holding, keep it a special. When you are sick, use that water. When anybody is sick, use that water. When you want to go for an appointment, use that water. What you make sure you do is when it's about to finish, fill it up. You will be shocked by the things that this water will do in your life. You will come and say, Father, you are a man of God. All those people are watching us online, be holding your bottles as well. We are increasing power. We are increasing fire. We know that the devil is planning against us and we are also planning against him. Now listen. I want to give you an instruction that will help you. Are you listening? Say the Lord makes his servants the flames of fire. May the Lord of Jia make you a flame of fire. So that when you walk, you don't walk as a natural person. You walk as a fire. Say fire everywhere. Fire in my business. Fire in my marriage. Fire everywhere. I am fire. Now, uh, we know the times that we are in. The devil is hunting the church. The devil want to blackmail the church. The devil want to paint black jam. But my prayer, right now we are on the 21th day of the month. I pray that we lose none of you this month. And if we can defeat the devil this month, the warrior we are free. I say you are free from the spirit of death in the name of Jesus. That is why you see instead of him killing our people he is touching them and they are still surviving because we are protected by fire we are shaken but we are not thrown just shake shake then we resurrect back you shall live to testify that Jesus is the king hallelujah so now there is something that I want to talk about a little this verse that I, I read which said if a person has an issue 
with a, another person, the Lord can come and intercede for that person. But what about if a person sins against the Lord? Who is going to stand in between that person and God? So it's a very difficult case. So if you look in the Bible, there is a moment when God created Adam and gave him authority over the garden. But he said there is a tree which I have planted in the midst of the garden. This one don't eat. Say this one don't eat. The day that you eat it, you will surely die. The day that you eat it, you will surely die. You know, there is a, a revelation on this case. You know, God can give you everything, but not everything is belonging to you. Adam, the whole garden is yours, but in your garden, I have planted something that is not yours. So it means that as we are living as human beings, God sometimes provides us things which are not ours. Sometimes he provides you to provide others. Are you hearing me? So the problem with our financial life, why Christians are very weak financially, they eat everything, even things that doesn't belong to them. In you, there is a portion for people who are suffering in the street. But my question is, when last did you give people who are suffering in the streets? Some of you don't practice that. Let me show you the mind of God. The children of Israel, when they could plant their crops and harvest, the Lord gave them an instruction that when you are harvesting, you must not harvest all. You must also leave other things in the field so that when the pure comes to check, they will find something. So you deliberately put something aside for the poor. So what is God saying? He is saying the poor are provided by you. The orphans are provided by you. The widows are provided by you. The less privileged are provided by you. But the problem man, Christians are not like that. They eat everything. They use everything. And the pot they use God's stuff food. Tithe. You eat. Okay, alright. Tom, let, let, let's say you are you when it comes to, to helping people you haven't yet understood what about the tithe of God that you are eating every day do you know plenty of people are sick in their bodies because of eating God's money yeah because when you eat God's money it brings other diseases inside you so that the money that you are supposed to eat you send it to the hospital some of you every day you are in pharmacies it is only because you are eating the tent which is part of God's side. So on your money, you must know that there is money which belongs to God. There is money which belongs to the suffering. There is money which belongs to the widow. My question is, when last did you help a stranger who was asking for help? Everybody who asked by the robots, you just pass by. My question is, when last did you give a suffering person? When? Ask yourself. When last did you see somebody begging and you said, ah, and there's some of you when you are giving people are begging, you make sure it's coins, one round. You know what you must do? I told you my story. Uh, one of the days I was staying in Windsor. So, I was starting up the life in church, the life in ministry. So, I went to the other shop. There was this lady who was wearing a garment. She looked like she's crazy. She was begging for money. Then I went into the shop. I had 50 rand. I wanted to buy bread because I wanted to break my fasting. So as I entered into this shop, as I was, I was to pay for my bread by the till, God said, look up. I looked up. I saw that lady again. God said to me, you know, instead of you buying bread, may you give this 50 rand to this lady. I said, 50 rand, all I have. I give to this lady, but I am scared of disobeying the word of the Lord. I obeyed God and uh, you know, even the, the, the cashier was shocked with what kind of a, a, a person who is like that. He, he takes the bread, he's about to pay then he stops. I went outside and I went by the lady I made sure I gave her like, I'm trying to hide it and uh, I'm sure it was the first time 
to receive 50 rand from a person because plenty of people, no matter how rich they are, when they see people are suffering, they want to, to throw things which are useless. When I gave her the 50 rand, she took it and she opened it and I was already a distant away. The way she screamed, blessing me in the name of Jesus, that was my first time to be blessed in the name of Jesus. She was ah! May Jesus bless you. I said, okay, so this is the trick. Do you know what happened? As I reached my place, I found uh, 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 like a 500, which was sent from an FNB number, which I didn't know. I found the number. It never went through. So I went home and came back. Those days, 500 rands was bigger to me. Imagine a person who has 50 rands to buy bread, and tomorrow you don't know what to do next. But God provided me 500 rands. And I said, I think I need to call the number to make sure. And the number was not going through. So some of us, we are blessed by simple tricks. When we see people who are hungry, when we see people who are suffering, we make sure we put our hand there. This is the reason why we are still surviving on the area of finances. And some of you, you are dangerous to yourselves. You do a lot of businesses which are not backed up by giving. This is the reason why most of you, you are suffering. Right now, you have been a businesswoman for, for, for over pa, pa, four years. Where is the man? Why are you not growing? Are you not doing everything that must be done? You do, but the problem is your hand is not blessed. So whatsoever that gets into your hands, they die. You need to learn to give. You need to learn to release. Adam, in the garden, yes, you have the authority, but there is one part which is not yours. If you eat that part, you will lose everything. Adam lost the garden because of one thing. You guys, you are losing a lot of things because giving is not part of your life. In church, you don't give. To, to your husbands, you don't give. To everything. So when are you going to learn to give? Giving is good not for, for the person that you give to. It's good for you and your hand. I told you, could some other people who are here, if, I can, if we can say, let's buy three, four chickens, we give to each individual. We say, Mama Shumba, this is yours. Pastor Nyasha, this is yours. Minister Kuda, Pastor Simba, this is, these are your chickens. You will be shocked with one of these people. The other one will die the first day. The other one, <laughs> it will be bumped by a car. The other one, the other one is stolen. The other one, will, it will grow and it will, have, it will lay eggs and multiply. The chickens were the same, but they are going to different personalities different hands. That, so, things usually react according to who has them. So, some of you, even if you are given money to start a business, so long the money goes to your hands. So, uh, some of you here, you are hated by the people who used to help you because you asked for help, you said I will give you back, but things went wrong because they always go wrong. You need to learn to sacrifice giving to other people, giving to the church, giving to the other men. Some of you, you bother men of God day and night, but you don't even bother to help them anyhow. You know, there was another man of God, a Pastor Michael's friend. Ah, that man was very serious. He said, you want me to call you when you are sick with whose airtime? Dampo Satarani. So plenty of Christians, they are very reluctant when it comes to their financial area. That is why this church, I always speak, we have all kinds of testimonies, but the only testimonies which are lacking are financial breakthrough testimonies. We have the whole anointing. Ladies and gentlemen, the anointing that we carry here is the anointing of fruitfulness. It is not only in the area of barrenness. It is in every area, but this area of financial breakthrough, it needs givers. You see this lady uh, who... Um, who gave me um, a, a cold drink. Ask her, how long has she been giving me these cold drinks? Otherwise, guarantee to matama to go to the Mariawa. And whenever she comes to testify here, it has something to do with finances. Why? Because she sits a lot. So some of you, you need to get into that zone of learning how to seed, of learning how to plant seeds. You can reap from the anointing. You are hearing me? I want to see you next year as bosses. I don't want you to work for people because the blessings that you can carry from this house are too big for, for working. It's not like we want your money too much. If we wanted money, we have better ways to do it. 
You think if I wanted money, I could have started a church? Ah, I will just make sure that every Wednesday I have one on one session, 1,000 per person. If you don't have 1,000, go to your house. But I sweat here, just sweating. But I'm just trying to teach you because my children are suffering. This is what I know. But I know the secret, but I, I don't know how to put it into their hearts. So long you see an anointing plant a seed. I said, you know, I was talking to people. I said, I was talking about Pastor Chris. I said, Pastor Chris, Pastor Chris can fill up a stadium uh, with praise and worship only. I said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look for a pastor in, in, in Christ's temples who is suffering. I'll plant a seed in that pastor. I will tap to the anointing from Pastor Chris because I want to grow as well like what? Pastor Chris. So this is the trick. When you see an anointing, partner with it and it will also partner with you. You are hearing me? All the times when I'm saying, hey, seeds, 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 what? It's not like we want your money. We have special ways if you want it. You see, you see this water? This water. If I can make it a special edition, this one. I'll say, hey, we need people who are going to seed 1,000. This is a very big tornado order. I'm telling you, today, I'll, I'll sleep on 100,000 across the globe. I'll sleep on 100,000 today. So why do I need to sweat for, for me to get the 100 rounds for you, from you? There is no way. All I need is you to be blessed because my children, each time that I sit with them, they are crying about poverty. And the it's very difficult. No, sir, there is nothing difficult like telling a person that you don't give face to face. Some of you thinking with this person now, maybe our apostle is hungry. But it's not like that. I want you also to raise up from the standards that you are at now and to grow. And it say, Lord Jesus, open my heart and teach me how to give. Open my heart and teach me how to help other people. Open my heart and teach me how to expand my territories. God wants to promote you but the problem there is no seed that you planted. What you sow is what you reap. And it so God tells Adam, would you don't eat this, uh, this tree, don't touch. Oh, about three days ago, I called my children, the girls, around 12 a.m. I said, girls, come here. I need to talk to you. Uh, I think I, I, I called Tanya. I said, come, I want to talk to you about something. Let me tell you about uh, how God does. Do you know, could you young girls, young ministers, we have found grace when you are young like this, you are already on your way to judgment and punishment because you know what is right and what is not right. And some of you, you will be shocked but in the future, you will say, I was going to church. Why are these things befalling me? Because most of these young girls, they will be in the church, but if you look in their phones, you will be shocked. But right now, if I want to search, you will be shocked but here there are girls who have their nude pictures but they are still singing in the present ocean. Ushering, you will find that there are big ladies there who have nude pictures in their phones, but they serve in the house of the Lord. So I said to them, you know, when God is telling people in, uh, in instruction, could you do not do this? It's not like uh, what we do. Like in, I as an apostle, when I want to, 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 to stop one of my sons to do something, I will keep on talking. Uh, and he, this one never touch. Never touch. I will say even seven times. Even the way that I will be saying it, you can really see this man is serious. But God is, is different. You know what God does? He comes to Adam and say, come, let's take a walk. Adi, what's up my nigga? So you know, you see this garden? This one. It's all yours. Right? Yeah. Every, everything here belongs to you. Then at least what is he happy? But when he comes to the tree of life, or the, the tree of knowledge of the truth. He just says, but this one, you see, I've planted this one. Don't eat. Then the conversation is simple. So don't eat, right? I'll see you later. Sharp. Then they go like, Shh. my nigga, my nigga, sharp. We are going. So because of the way God say things, you assume that he is joking. You assume that it is very silly. You realize that some of the people who are here, they will be attacked by cancers because of things that they are putting inside themselves, because of those morning afters they are 
and the muno muno soto wa mimba. If I know a house which which has a, a high grade of abortions, is this house. Matters are here. Not one, not two. Serious matters here. Number one, you tell them with no sex before marriage, they go after it, they fall pregnant, they remove. Saka, we have matters here. Timi Makauraya. Timi Makauraya. Timi Makauraya. Ashina Mosha. Paukama Makauraya. Timi Makauraya. Timi Makauraya. I'm telling you, Pastor Rod, don't, don't look at these people innocent like this. So my question is, what is God going to do with your case if you're that kind of a person? So God tells you, don't eat the, 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 the tree. Adam eats. And you know what I, I know about God? After eating the tree, I said to them, when Eve ate the tree, he did not die. He was even shocked with him himself uh, having more, more time in the Garden of Eden. He had more time to a level of even going to look for Adam to also sin. This is what sin do. When you begin to sin under the roof, when you begin to sin as a, a, as a worshiper of God, there is a time you feel like God is not judging you. If also had that time, after eating the, the fruit, wow, it's nice. Then ah, I'm not dying. So he, she had a time of moving around. Adam, Adam, where are you? I had, I'm not dead. Adam, where are you? Adam, where are you? He goes by the snake. Snake, did you see Adam? Ah, he was by the lions there. He goes by that. I found him. Come and test. So most of the people here, you are not yet being judged because you are doing a lot of things undercover. And then you have you, you, you have that period of of if where you eat and nothing is seems to be to, to be wrong. You even look for Adam to commit more sins. Number one sin is uh, is what is fornication. Number two sin matter. We let's not call it abortion. Abortion is when you don't know could it a sin, but when you know it's a sin is now matter, right? It's matter this one. So, Pano, Tineva, and Wood Motovachka. Ugam Quereta, and when I went down, Uriah food. If a person can kill an innocent baby, what about you? A baby who never did anything. What about you? So, you will be shocked. Have you ever seen a Christian who was born in the church then die miserably? Have you ever seen it? It is because plenty of people, they are doing things under the roof. Let me show you a revelation. I want you to see this revelation. I said, when Adam ate the, 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 the fruit, he felt like he was okay until God came. Did you hear me? Adam ate the fruit and he felt like, oh, there is nothing until God came. When God came, he said, Adam, Adam, him hearing the voice of God, he ran away and hid himself and said, ah, I heard your voice and I was so scared. So some of you, do you know where you miss it? There is a day that you can do your sins. There is a day that you can do your tricks. But there is one day that God is going to visit. This is where judgment starts. So imagine, you have done your sleepover last night. You come to church. You are safe. Maybe God has, has not yet begun to move. But the moment God begins to move, he passes by you. I told them an example. I say, God will come and say, I, I will be calling him, Father, come and bless your people. Father, come and bless your people. He comes to Simba. He blesses. Then he comes to Kuda. Kuda slept in, oh, uh, yesterday somewhere. What is going to happen to Kuda? Obviously, judgment is going to begin. Some of you, you are carrying bad lacks which are not coming from the devil, coming from God. They will manifest and you will be shocked. No pastor shall be helped, shall be able to help you. Because the Bible said, if a person sins against a person, it is better. But if you sin against God, who can rescue you? 
Okay. So some of you, there is a day when you sleep on a sick bed. Even us will be called to come and pray for you. We will pray for you until you die. What, what? And I had, I had another job. They said, you know, when you are sick, cafe, cafe. You know, when, 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 if we can put a stone on you, a smaller one, you'll be like, ah, oh, who put this rock on me? So this is why it is very difficult to help some other people. There are some other people who have previous cases from other churches. Some people are home wreckers here. How many, how many families did you break? How many? And you never repented against about it. And some of you, you did it in churches. Some of you, I am prophesying, there are some other people here who, 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 who made it, uh, leadership in other churches to fight. So you, you were like a devil who came to disturb the work of God. Some with gossip. God is saying, ah, let people worship. And you came there with your gossips. With your gossips, you killed the church. Now you are here. We thank God that we know you. Here you can't kill us. <laughs> hey, hey, some other pastors, I, I, I know, there are some other pastors who, 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 who like ladies. But there are some other ladies who have a mission of disturbing wherever they go. If I was a loose, a, a, a loose pastor, I'm telling you, with these people, you ask everybody, hey, ha, ha, how is your boyfriend? Everybody's sing. Everybody's sing. This is how dangerous our people are. She is single and she has a, 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 a pack of pills morning after. And, and, and the pregnant control and what, what, what. Those contraceptives, they have them in their bags. And some of them, they even bring them to church. But my worry is when God arrives, Adam, when you are with Eve, you are okay. But when God arrives, this is when the problem starts. So I'm sure they, they said, ah, let's go also go back and take a bite. I mean, I can hear eating. But when God comes, so some of you, we shall bury you, not now. But the death that you are going to die, that generals in the Bible, you hear what and he slept with his fathers. He slept with his fathers. Peacefully, some of you, you die like witches. A cow will bump you, one leg gone, seven months in the hospital. You wonder what is happening. A disease that the hospital will fail even to, to, to understand what it, what it is. You know, you go to a level where the doctors can tell you, ah, on this one we have given up. We don't know. I pray that the children of light may walk with the light. Because punishment and the judgment of the Lord is inevitable. If you sin against a man, God can intervene. My question is, if you sin against God, who is going to help you? Some of you right now, your worms are now green. So, you are just lucky. If we were in the world, we could have been calling you grenade. Church people look so innocent facially, but in their hearts they are terrible things. Church people look like they are holy facially, but inside their hearts when they go home, they do terrible things. But judgment one day it is coming. And uh, oh, oh, some of you, you walk on wheelchairs, needing a person to send you to the toilet needing a person to come back and uh, you'll be shocked why God am I going like this it is because some of the things that you are doing under the roof please children of light let's follow what God wants let's stay away from sins fear not and sin not say fear not sin not fear not sin not 
Fear not. See not. I am kindly asking you guys who are in departments. Sometimes in chatting near time, you are, you are going to give us problems in the future. You know, you, you pray for a person. <laughs> you, you are releasing with even the demon is not even reacting. You wonder what what is the problem here? The doctors are failing and us we are failing. When the doctors fail and us we fail, it means that God is involved there. Because us, when it is the devil, we are dominant. But when it is God, we can't do anything about it. Some of you, even though you are in churches, you shall fail to get married in the future. You wonder what it is. You were practicing marriage when you were a youth in the church. And uh, nowadays, youth from the church and youth from the world, there is no difference. Some, they drink here. Sleepovers, they do. Clubbing, they do. Everything they do, these people. But the problem is, when they are going to mountains, you know, I have seen a lot of people who have dead stories, but when you see them at a mountain, you'll be shocked. So what's missing here? Father, 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 you wonder what God, your child has been crying for a long time. Why can't you feel sorry? God will be telling you, good. we know her stories behind. Even home wreckers, people who are dating married people here, they, they are here. They came not to, 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 to a Sangoma, they came to church. And they are praying for their marriage. You are, you are, you, 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 you are destroying somebody's marriage and you came here to take yours. This, are, this is how wicked Christians are. Please, people of God, let's stay away from sins. Let's stay away from sins. Then the last but not least, under this environment, under this atmosphere, under this season where we are in, the spirit of death which is following the church, I want to tell you maybe three or four reasons why this spirit can attack an individual. Right? Number one, they are targeting people who are on spotlight. People who are what? On spotlight. I want you to imagine. Look, look at this. You see this man is a strong man. So, and his wife, they are very strong. In de- that was in December, right? We had a boy who was in the security. Definitely he is on a higher table. He can be seen by everybody. And the people will be asking, well, this boy, what is he doing? This boy, what is he doing? Then the devil comes and takes that kid. Definitely the world will be drawn to the attention of this. And they will ask, well, how come this little boy, how did he enter into a department? So they wanted to sacrifice him. So they are targeting people on spotlight so that they can damage them and bring a bad name to the church. So all those people are on spotlight, even when you are walking, be very careful. When you are crossing roads, be very careful. Until this time passes, I'll tell you, but now, this, in the spirit, things are free. They are targeting people who usually manifest. I was telling Pastor Michael, I said, if somebody, like the, the case of Mama Chura, if somebody can fall and dislocate by a, a leg, he is, she is much better than that person. But somebody who usually manifest in church, when that spirit comes, I'm telling you, it will be terrible. So it's targeting those people who usually manifest and those people who are sensitive to the spirit. It will catch you up and it will kill you. Then the blame goes back to the, to the church. Then number three, people who are disobedient but who are followers of the vision. So what happens when you are following a vision and you are distant to what you are being taught. On Monday, we say fasting. You don't fast. You are defenseless. Obviously, the covering is away from you. And uh, you know, some other people, they don't know, they, un- they don't understand the reason why we said, uh, let's not wear trousers in and out of church. I said, the life that we live here in the church is the same life that you must live at home. So if you can't wear a trousers at church, also at home, you must wear it. Because that's being fake. 
Because here we teach you how you must live at home. So if your trousers is indecent in the church, it can never be decent at home. So there are some other people, like these people in departments. You know, I want to show you something here. Come. You are in department, right? Like this. And uh, you have how many phone numbers? Uh, may, maybe, uh, how many phone numbers in this church do you have from the people in the church? A lot, right? And you are in a department, right? So the number that you have, maybe there are 20 people who follow you, people who follow you in Facebook, people who follow your statuses. I, the visionary, I am teaching these people who don't wear trousers, let's be decent, home and away. And uh, you, you are one of those people who are my helpers. Because when you serve in a department, you are a custodian of what I preach. People must see you as an example. Now, the people that are eager to follow me, they see you disobeying me. So, it will be difficult for me to preach to them because they will be saying, first teach your people, then we follow. So, by you just wearing your tight trousers and my people are seeing me, you are now fighting against the gospel. So, most of those people, they will be not undercovering. And some of them, they speak too much. Lapa, lapa. When you, they want to do it, they don't want to do it alone. They want to convince other people, hey, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. All those kind of speeches that you make, they put you under scrutiny and the, 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 the covering will be taken away from you and you'll be under attack. I pray that everybody who is here be covered in the name of Jesus. You may, you may sit down. So, the reason why we say the trousers, we don't want them in and out. It is because we can't live a fake life whereby in church we don't wear at home we wear. What are you trying to, to, to say there? It means we are fake. That's a double standard life. In church it's another life. At home it's another life. Then number two, you know, ladies, they don't understand something about us men. Men, we are very uh, convinced by what we see. When you see a lady who is wearing her long address, it is, your mind is very far from thinking about anything. Mind you, some of your trousers, the way <laughs> and uh, in this church we said, you see the way auntie's dressed now. You see, everything is covered, ne? but isn't she smart? Amashumba, may you stand up? May you look at these people? Isn't she smart? May you stand up? Go, go. Look at there. Isn't she smart? She's very smart, right? But her body is what? It's covered. But most of you, some other people now know the color of your chest now. And no matter how much we speak, you don't want to follow. This is the decent way that we approved in GM. We don't wear mini skirts. We don't wear trousers. We don't uncover our chest as ladies. Dijo, please ladies, when we come to church, we are not coming for a modeling show. We are coming to the house of the Lord. David was a very good man until he saw Bathsheba naked. And he was lost. And uh, you guys, you need to be fully dressed when you come to church. You know, it is very, very... Praying for Gogo Jada is like this. It's not very difficult. Some of you, when, when, when we are praying for you, this is the reason why Asha come and cover this. They'll be like, where, where is the apostle going to look at? Because if I look at you, I've already seen everything. Chatting more is And uh, you'll be wearing your mini skirt. And uh, here we have too much power. The whole world is outside. This is smart. May God bless you. So next time when you are buying your clothes, hello, everybody who is dressed wrongly in this house, don't worry. You didn't know. You go and fix your wardrobe. Right? So don't feel, don't feel uncomfortable. Don't feel uncomfortable. Please. Hello. Some of you, I'm to put it. It's not a matter. You fix next time. And it is. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable because some other churches, they don't worry about it. So don't be like, ah, post toys. Don't worry. You will fix it next time, aren't it? 
Uh, I'm talking about the people who have been here for a longer time and they are still continuing with being undressed. That's smart. Don't go to now. Ku itakushama. Kushama. Sandi kuchena. You are not marketing anything here. And it uh, so just be smart as properly dressed. And it my people outside, are you hearing me? Outside, why? Itai kushama. Andi kuchena. Kushama. Andi kuchena. Being naked is not being smart. May the Lord bless you. Let's clap hands for Jesus. I'm about to close. I want to pray now. I'm left with five minutes to two o'clock. Now listen. Say the Lord makes his servants the flames of fire. The Lord makes his servants the flames of fire. The Lord makes his servants the flames of fire. Lord Jesus, make me a flame of fire. Make my water a flame of fire. Let it receive the power. I want power in business. I want power in my marriage. I want power in my finances. I want power on my health. I want power in whatsoever I do. Purify my water. Let it carry the presence. Purify my water. Let, as I'm declaring, hold your water and declare whatsoever that you are declaring now. And it, say, Lord Jesus, I want fire. Lord Jesus, I want fire. Let my water catch the fire. Let my water catch the miracle power. Let my water catch the miracle power. Let my water have financial breakthrough. Let my water be powerful. Let it carry money. Let it carry my marriage. Let it carry my breakthrough. Let it carry my, my healing. Let it carry my restoration. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, I declare and I decree that this water I am holding is going to receive the anointing from the apostle. I declare, I declare, I declare a ah, fire, 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 every curse, every limitation, every barrier, every curse, every limitation, every barrier. Let the water fix it. Let the water fix it. Let the water fix it. Lord Jesus, my water, change it. My water, touch it. My water, bless it. My water, touch it. My water, bless it. Remove cases, remove imbalances, remove all limitations, remove jambra, remove cancer, remove diseases, boundaries, topologies. In the name of Jesus, manufacture, manufacture the water, change it. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 miracle money, miracle money, promotion, 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 motor, cars, business breakthrough, cars, business breakthrough. Cars. Lift it up in the air. Open the floodgates. Take these bottles out. Open the floodgates. Open the 
Right. Lift up. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Your children are holding the water. They need a point of contact. I pray that you may bless the water they are holding and transfer the light into the water. The water must receive power of everything financial breakthrough marriages promotions protection healing restoration you change the water into wine change water into power change water into power change water into power I pray for the neutralization of all things that runs in their blood let the sick be healed. Let all those who are limited be restored. In the name of Jesus, the water must kill cancer. The water must kill HIV. The water must kill every... Lift up. The water must receive power. The water must receive power. Let it be changed. Let it be changed. Let it be changed. Let it be changed. When they are going to take a sip, wash away the diseases. All wrong things in their bodies must be vomited out. All cancers must die and be dissolved. Mudumbu. All the leg aches. All the stomach aches. All the pains by the back. All the pains in the mouth. Every pain, fibroids cyst, masare everything must be diluted in the name of Jesus I pray that as the water is going to run through their bodies they are going to be healed chest pains are going to disappear stomach pains are going to disappear in the name of Jesus as you are going to drink this water may you receive the part of your blessings in Jesus name do this do this do this what you are going to do you are going to drink half of the water now. Wait. You are going to drink half of the water. Then when you are going out, you will take water from the buckets and put inside. Don't worry, it will be mixed with oil. I, I put the anointing oil there. 
what you do, you can just take off the oil so that you can use your water anytime. The way you want, you want to drink, you are going to work. Make sure that in your bucket, a tap, whatsoever, you put a drop of the water that we prayed for. Then when you do that, please keep your anointing water forever. If you are sick, just take a sip. You will see what will happen to you. If somebody is sick, just give him a sip. You will see what will happen to them. They will be okay. Bad lacks will go. Diseases will go. Pains will go. So now what I want you to do, I want you to drink half of it. Then what you do, as we are closing, you guys, you will come. I will pray for you. I will touch your water. It will be having plenty of power. The power that I prayed for in the beginning, the power of me touching it, and the power from the atmosphere, and the power that I took from this uh, fountain. It is always here. This water has been there for a longer time. This is the water that is, is always catching the anointing in this house. When we are praying, interceding, I know the power is being uh, taken, taken into that water. So now open your bottle. Open. Thank you so much. Open your bottle. Just drink. Just drink. Don't finish up. Right? Just drink. That's your coke today. Right? Right? Enjoy. Enjoy your... your your, your, your coffee. Enjoy your coffee. Enjoy your coffee. Now, I tell you pizza. Now, take your right hand, put on your chest. Take your right hand, put it on your chest. Healing rains. Put your right hand on your chest now. Father, I activate the water in them now. I activate it. Let it sink down and do wonders. Let it heal the body which is sick. Some of you, you are feeling it now. God is taking away diseases. God is taking away bad luck. Let it act in your body. Let it act in your body. Let it heal you. Let it take away every filthy thing. Let it take away all the pains. Be healed. Be healed from that disease. Be healed from chest pains. Be healed from stomach pains. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be receiving your healing. I take away your pains. I take away your pains. I take away TB. I take away BP. I take away. Let it be activated in you. Let it work now. Let it work. Let it work now. Let it work. Let it work. Right, don't worry. That's, that's, don't worry about coughing. That's God touching you. That's God healing you. It's activated. It's activated. It's activated. It's activated. It's activated. It's activated. Some of you, you are feeling cold. Some of you, you are feeling too hot. Some of you, you are feeling relieved. In the name of Jesus, I activate as it is running through your blood as it is running through your body, may it cause havoc to the kingdom of the devil. Power! Power! Fire! Every disease in the name of Jesus. I release it in the name of Jesus. All those who have stomach disorders be released in the name of Jesus. All those who have bad lax be released in the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, 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 Asha's attend Michael today. 
in the name of Jesus fibroids disappear cysts disappear fibroids disappear fibroids disappear fibroids disappear barrenness disappear barrenness disappear barrenness disappear flu disappear covid-19 disappear chest pains disappear in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit let's clap hands for jesus so pastors take this water outside there thank you jesus Now it's 10 past 2. We need to be very time cautious. Some other people, they'll be coming from uh, marriages where they are supposed to be at home at a given time. So what you're going to do, you're going to come with your water. I touch it and you go. And it, so I think I'll start with the people who are outside. Then when you are going, you go and take water outside you put into your bottle pastors when the water is on half you must add more so that the whole people may get water from the bucket right are you hearing me right let's stand up do i have people who want to receive christ before i do all this can you come here run if you want to receive christ before the people are outside comes if you want to receive Christ, come. Stand up. Stand up, Mama. How are you? Good. Those who want to receive Christ, come. Let's clap hands for them. Satani pacho tender waguti shunguru tsaa Satani pacho tender waguti shunguru tsaa Chinda wa chake ndeche kuti tituke ma you to follow after me receiving Christ it means you confessing that Jesus died for you you will forgive your sins and you will do whatsoever that you want from there not only about that you will forgive your sins and accept you into his kingdom so I am praying that you may follow a good life after so that you don't keep on following the things of the world so you confess after me and Jesus will accept you right say father in the name of Jesus I come before your presence as a sinner but forgive me I want to accept and to receive the Lord Jesus as my personal savior from today onwards I'm a born again child of God I confess that Jesus died for me on the cross for my sins Therefore, I'm forgiven. From today onwards, I'm a child of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So what you do after this, if you want to become full-time members, you must be in the members group. You see auntie, she will add you into the membership group. The after church, not now. May the Lord bless you. I love you so much and God loves you more than I do. In Jesus' name, be blessed. You can go back.
Right? Then before we close, there is something that I want us to do. Matuakari. Right? In two minutes, there is something that we want to do. You saw our prayer line, right? Our prayer line is not working now from last Tuesday. It is because we did not, uh, the phone that we are using on, on prayer line, Yagafa, it's not even accepting WhatsApp. So we need to buy another phone for the, for the prayer line so that tomorrow people will begin to be helped. I'm under pressure. People are coming to my line and I can't attend them. I now have a lot of work to do. So we need to bring back the prayer line. So I'm just asking few people to plant a seed for the prayer line. Listen, if you plant your seed on the prayer line, it means with the world which is going to be blessed by that. It is part of your portion. So I want people who are going to partner with us, even with 50 rand, 100 rand, whatsoever. You just take an envelope, you give to until you put a name. Good. This one is for the prayer line. So we can have a phone by Monday. I know that God will move plenty of people. Partner on this one. It is great. Thousands of people are going to be saved uh, through that prayer line. It will be part of you and God will bless you richly in Jesus' name. Amen. So people, you come with your water. I touch it. You go and take the water outside. Those who have their prayer request on papers, I'll pray for you after I've done touching people's water, right? So you can come. Right, before I forget, please, before I forget, let me give you a prayer of going home. Some other people are rushing. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people who are traveling. I pray for your people who attended this service. I pray for all the souls who gave their souls to you. I pray that next week we may meet here and gather in your name. We thank you for a wonderful day. We believe that you are the leader of these people and you shall continue to be a leader of them. Bless them, protect them, and be with them forever and ever in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Tomorrow is what? It's what? So we are fasting every Monday and the intercession team and everybody will be meeting here uh, at night, the whole week. So let's meet next Friday on the all night prayer. Shaka naka, tinongo tishaka naka, eh. Satan, you patch on the day, what would you shoot?